All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat. Today we have a returning guest, a special, special, special returning guest. Mr. David Gravette is yes. back with us, yeah. man. How He's are back. you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. Dude. So the, all the so I should just say what I all the stuff I'd said before we started. Yes, <laughs> yes, we were talking about that. No, but it, it's good to see Zoom Dave. Yeah, never... he's, this is like maybe his third appearance now. I've done a couple Oh, have you? Zooms. Okay. Yeah, but this is definitely the biggest and best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, you've only done yeah. Zoom three times? In this whole... I think so. I did one for CCS, mm. one for my FAA lawsuit, <laughs> and... Oh. Um, okay, yeah. you might not want to talk about that. But, uh, uh, it's get still, into that. still in litigation. You might not. Have. No, it's all over. Mm. Don't ever fly American Airlines. Anyone, like seriously, do not. Okay. They, yeah. Apparently, they'll sue your pa- their passengers right when COVID starts. Wow. And, wow. Okay. Yeah. So you got lawsuit, Dave. We got Zoom, Dave. <laughs> skate, a, Dave. Skate, Dave. Mountain bike. We talk. We cover this in your episode. You know, I'm just. Yeah. I'm just filling in everybody. Um, but you look good, bro. Everything. Thank bro. You. I mean, listen, man, you're out there kayaking. You got kayak, Dave. You're catching fish. They're 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 dragging you around the the pond there. It's <laughs> that was that was a trip, man. Yeah. What happened? Um, just was fishing this lake. I've fished a bunch of times. Never caught anything that crazy, and picked up. And especially wintertime, fly fishing is tough. Like, man, you'd get skunked a lot. Just being freezing cold Mm. trying to get your line deep enough in the water to where the fish are and uh, apparently i've got deep enough and (laughs) (laughs) got into this uh, yeah i've screamed out to the homies uh, because sometimes you don't know if it's when you're moving in the kayak like a fish and a snag can almost feel the same sometimes and i mean i'm i'm pretty used to it now i'm i kind of know the difference but um I wasn't sure at this point because there was so much resistance when I tried to test the if it's going to pull back or not. And I yelled out, if this isn't a snag, this is a really big fish. And <laughs> then it started running. And I thought I'd because I know there's really big bass in that lake. And I thought wow. it was a bass because it was running straight down. But then it started just going straight out across the lake. And <laughs> bass don't do that. So then I just... I mean, it made it easier on the fish and like, cause I only had five pound test and there's no way that fish was under five pounds, but the way it was pulling me, I was just letting it run while slightly being able to reel in. And luckily I had Casey and Kalo there with me or else I don't think I would have ever landed that cause it wouldn't have fit in my net and it probably would have snapped the line when I really tried to tighten it up to get it in the boat or in the net. And so it was dragging you, literally dragging you. Yeah, I, cro- I covered like a couple hundred yards. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I just want, I want to yeah. see that. You see, this is what, this is what you need to make the YouTube channel for. You know, I want to see this fish dragging Dave across the, a couple hundred y- yards across the lake. <laughs> we, we just got to find a filmer who's willing to go out there every day for like His name is a couple months without getting anything cool. And then finally, and then finally get that, get something like that. Right. And, you know, Roger yeah. is right though. You know, put a GoPro on your head or the, these GoPros are very yeah, versatile, I've been, man. I've mm-hmm. been getting some stuff with that, but then mm-hmm. that tech Dave you were talking about that doesn't exist. You know, <laughs> he's been struggling with how to like get that GoPro footage like onto the. Com- we got the I've footage. Just, like, like you got to get it out of that little box. Yeah, yeah into- you got to get it out of that box and into something else. <laughs> <laughs> onto YouTube and into the money form and into the fly shop. Yeah, <laughs> the circle of life. This is, this is what it, this is, is what it's all about. I I just. Think because we were talking about like you know having a YouTube channel for you before the show, and man, I, I, I would watch it. I think it's that'd be super entertaining because all your little edits you do on Instagram and everything—it's great. You know, you just mm-hmm. make those a little longer, make them enjoyable. I know you like to put your little country music in there, your little you know banjo stuff. But uh, I mean, whenever I see, you, I got other homies that do cool stuff and they make cool videos, and sometimes they put like terrible music i mean new yeah. music 
I guess. To it. <laughs> and like, um, I'm like, man, everything's so rad here, but you ruined it by like, you missed out on the song part. And, <laughs> well, don't think of I mean, it as like a video part, right? Think of it as just like, you know, I don't know what you should think. But I, I mean, I think it. that the music I use is the only music that can be like matched to those, to those, to nature yeah. videos. Like it doesn't look right when you put Call up your audience to get some uh, royalty free music. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, that's, the- a, I mean, that's another, I mean, that's another idea I've thought of is like, but it's kind of, it's really hard to, f- I'd be wading through a sea of shit starting yeah. this idea of like unhurt, like up and coming country folk singers that like give me their song. And then I pretty much make a music video like for it. What about and the Mongolian hell, like, like throats? Oh yeah. So, like well, that can't be copywritten, is it? How Those guys it? are huge now. Oh, I mean, it was, they were blowing up during the process of me lucking out with that song. But right. I mean, they just, they played in Portland this last think like shortly before covid or something and like their tickets were going to be like 200 bucks like i wanted to go but oh, wow. I mean, mm. it just kind of okay so the mongolian throat singing yeah they're blowing out. up <laughs> they're, they're okay. killing it the who is i mean the, and deservingly like that looks like a lot of work singing like that i, I, mean, I listen to i sound like someone who's been mongolian <laughs> throat singing for <laughs> your whole life <laughs> that's where the marble mouth came from marble mouth I love it though because on you when you were here at, at the Nine Club, you were talking about having your video part was just going to come out, and you were talking about yeah. it was either or. You were trying to get the right. I was, or yeah, I was nervous. That was oh, yeah. mm. it was hard on me. Like today, I've been kind of like a little nervous about doing this, but I keep telling myself like, dude, the last time you did it, like it was so much worse circumstances, and it was so like easy. <laughs> so like, why much, are you... what do you mean worse circumstances? Because you were here. Well, because I was stressing <laughs> over that song. I oh, just that, found out like right. the night before that I didn't have the rights to the song for my video part that was coming out in two weeks oh, or whatever. Oh and like, yeah, that's pretty there weird. I was back at like square one of like, and yeah, and I really wanted to use the song. But you did, but right? You I, ended up using it. No, I used the throat singing, which I still really like, Like, <laughs> but I didn't use the Hank 3 song that I wanted to use. Okay, so the, th- the, the throat <laughs> singing was the backup. Yeah, God, and okay. it, I, it worked. I love it, but that Hank 3 song made it, because that was my first part after coming out of that two-year hell, and like the song that I wanted to use touch base on that a little okay. bit and matched a lot of the like the nature footage that we filmed like right. i said the only music that can go to nature footage fit the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and the hell you're talking about was uh well with your hip popping out right was that the your hip problem yeah yeah how is that and doing now because you were saying er, before it would you would literally be skating and your hip would pop out mm-hmm. and you'd have to pop oh, you, yeah. and you learn to pop it back Crazy, in yourself man. I was easily over 300 plus hip dislocations. Oh my wow. gosh, dude. It, That's like every time you jump on your board type shit. Oh yeah. It, I couldn't even look at my board without even, <laughs> without dislocating. Without dis- <laughs> <laughs> but then you said you yeah. jumped on it and you, and you just, you said, fuck it. And you yeah, just started skating it, and then it, it stopped popping out or something? What yeah. Were- after about three months, maybe a little bit less than that okay. of skating and popping out every time it just overnight one day i went skating and didn't pop out and so wait wait what? wait wait hold on one second you didn't take like any downtime to like make it like kind of heal up before it started not popping out again you just oh i did kept... everything i was out for i got surgery okay and, all right I yeah that. like wow I saw tons of specialists no i was the only other options i was looking at was like a hip replacement or a cadaver or labrum which is like a very surgery fails all the time. Oh, super man. painful too. I, I guess actually, so. that happened to me. Actually, I have a cadaver labrum in oh. your hip. Yeah. In your hip. Yeah. Did you get the micro fracturing yep. with it? Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. No way. <laughs> but you Kelly, you didn't Kelly. have a, you didn't have a you problem with boy. it. <laughs> Look at this. I, I love yeah. this bonding well, experience. I, I totally, yeah. I resonate with when you tell them this, but I don't know what the hip popping out. Like, but I, I have hip problems. I have a hip impingement. And so yeah. I can't really like my range of motion in my hips is pretty, pretty bad, but. But you yeah. didn't, you it wasn't popping out. No, no, no. You, they had to shave the bone They down. thought my hip impingement though was leading to the pop outs. That was one of the, oh, okay. like the surgery that I, the first surgery I got was actually to fix that, like the hip impingements plus oh, okay. like shaving all of my 
So they shaved it down? Pattered. Yeah, they they reshaped the top of my femur and the capsule wow, and dude, it's shaved so off all the uh, frayed labrum and... Um, yeah, mine, my, 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 all, everything was gone. Like labrum, uh, cartilage, everything is completely yeah, gone. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm... That's like the same... That's insane, geez. man. But they told me that surgery that you got is like like horrible like i'd seen some doctors that were like some people might want to do this for you but it's got pretty bad um results yeah and oh, takes a, a solid year like they're like it's a solid year of recovery how long is, uh, how long ago did you get that kelly uh 2017 it was <laughs> like <clears throat> i mean i don't have the range of motion but it doesn't hurt like that anymore i couldn't skate like it was mm. And then, but you know, it's something weird like that where it just happens over time. Right. It's not like you do one thing and then it like, you're, it hurts. Were you it's, out for a year? I mean, I honestly haven't been back ever since really. Oh God. You know what I mean? Like I really have never been back like I was before. Right. Like feeling how you yeah, were feeling. Yeah. I don't, I've right. never felt the same ever since, right. but it doesn't hurt as much. So it's nicer. Right. But how did you feel after surgery? Did So you got surgery and then it kept happening, it kept popping yeah, out? Yeah, three months after surgery in physical therapy oh my was the first time that it in physical came out. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. So we're talking about a miracle here. Pretty much. And I like, mean, it doesn't feel, it's not like a great, like it's not like I'm doing melon grabs again. Okay. But um, it's, it's staying in and now we're back to the shoulder issues. So we're just... You know, that's the way they usually go. The ones always. Yeah. If it's not something, it's something else. So what's wrong with the shoulder now? Does the shoulder pop out? It tried to. It's trying to. um, It's an insane. Dude, this is an insane story that like I swear only I could fucking pull off, man. Like (laughs) a couple of months ago, I was on a creature trip. First like time, like getting to see the boys, get into like get down to some good weather, like got a filmer around like time to fucking go and three days into that we go to the double rock park i haven't been back to thrasher's park in about eight years or so oh, and wow. the last time i was there i separated my right shoulder on the big quarter pipe doing it in the air first real injury to that shoulder that is okay. fucked now but wow. separated shoulder so we go back there and i'm kind of like looking at that quarter pipe like well last time i was here is bad news leaving to the hospital and everything like but whatever like it's not going to like, I'm not, I'm going to take it easy. Like conquer some demons or whatever. And I first run <laughs> everywhere in that park. All roads lead to that big quarter pipe of anyone who skated it. Like you will end up going into that presentation wall, no matter what. Okay. And I'm going in and I'm like, here we go. Like demon conquer time. And <laughs> <laughs> I just did a back disaster. Like, and I came in and I hit a rock at the fucking bottom oh, and I go flying into that fucking brick oh. ledge, angle iron ledge that's right there. I took it to the, I took it to right to my back and I initially thought I'd, that was the big problem. I thought I'd like torn a hole in my back and was all like upset about that. And then I realized that I couldn't lift my fucking arm. And oh. it's like, are you serious? Like it's bad enough that it's super hard to get in the mag now and now the park's trying to fucking rip my arm off again like <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, so it basically same thing happened again i mean it's different i didn't i haven't been to the doctor yet because okay. i just dropped a bunch of doctor money getting colonoscopy oh, another geez. another story but okay we'll get I know it's I've, had, I've had so much stuff with the shoulders we'll I get know. deep into that too. <laughs> we'll get, yeah, we'll get <laughs> it's a, it always comes out this is exactly how the last nine club went for me i had stuff that i'm like all right, we'll get to this, get to this, but then it all just kind of like piles out at the same. <laughs> but Literally. I haven't been. A, I know it's a torn. I know I've torn more of my labrum or rotator cuff again, and I've been trying to heal it, and it's been getting kind of better. I w- I tried to skate too early the first time, and well, I went snowboarding, and mm. second run fell like most mellow fall ever, and I just felt it tear again oh and lost God. like movement and lifting it up but Damn. it's been feeling i'm it's been feeling deep i could skate right now i think but i'm choosing i'm trying to wait more and do more physical therapy yeah you should yeah get the strength back <laughs> <laughs> that's your and physical therapy rowing, rowing fly kayaks. yeah actually that's not bad though kayak i mean you're that's a yeah, it seems big like workout it yeah, good. But you would think though, like yeah. skateboarding, you don't realize how much your arms are oh, going dude, around. Oh, yeah, it's don't. so important. You really don't. But yeah, that's even the most underrated joint out there. <laughs> yeah, even seriously. worse that like you, 
like if you got hurt skate like, you can't skate with your own like also you can't you can't go fly fishing. No, I've been, I mean, that was a tough Switch? month. There was a solid month there where I, I'm not going to lie to you. I went fucking bait fishing, dude. I grabbed some cheese. That was all that. I grabbed <laughs> some cheese and, and my fucking tack, old tackle box hadn't seen the light of day in fucking five years or something. <laughs> Wait a minute, so you're trying to, to catch pond. bait? <laughs> well, no, no, I was fishing with bait instead oh. of fly fishing. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I used to do in England. Fucking cheese bait some trout. Okay. okay. <laughs> wow. Did it work? Did you catch anything with no, the cheese? No. No, I remembered why I hated bait fishing. Okay. I just sit there and not do anything. So fly fishing is the art of ha- you have a lure, right? And the lure artificial the way fly. an okay. artificial fly. So the way that you're you know, doing because the line I've I've seen it before. I've never done it, but it, you're basically yeah, it's beautiful when people do it. Right? Yeah, I, I'm yet to feel like I have a beautiful. I don't have one of those super beautiful casts yet. I okay. mean, sometimes I do all right, but when I get the job done, for sure. That's I think that's a kind of a thing that a lot of fly fishing gets looked over. I don't know what the word I'm. I think people take it too seriously and mm. some people don't get into fly fishing because they're like man I, I might need to be like too good at it and like everyone's so serious about everything but like you don't really have to be you're just whipping a line at the bottom of the end of the day you just got a line on the end of a stick that you whip around and yeah I mean to me fish. it looks yeah. a little intimidating because they they do look like they know what they're doing and okay. there's like an art form to it right Definitely. if you like, have a good style oh, yeah. doing that there you go. Yeah, there, you, there's definitely you notice people like people have good style for sure. Like, mm-hmm. see, that's I haven't graduated to that. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I'm, I do all right, but there's so much stuff. There's spay casting, roll casting, mm. like casting all the different kind of weights of the bugs you're using is totally different. Mm. Like, I'm pretty Speaking good at casting from a kayak too, because sitting down like that, being low and casting is that might be my high point. Fishing from a kayak is definitely my highest skill of if i have one yeah, no determination seems, fucking seems, determination yeah, yeah. that goes a long way bro yeah. that, that seems like yeah because you're sitting down you don't really get that like that power yeah that it's, power, it's way right? nicer to and the higher you are the more clearance your line will have like right. while it's going yeah, if you're standing man you can get behind that you. fucking little oomph yeah. behind you yeah do you watch yeah. like fly fishing videos is like a person on youtube yeah i finally started doing that and i think that's what i needed to do to make Cause I, I hang out like there's other people that I wouldn't say maybe I got, I didn't get them into fly fishing, but I've definitely been fly fishing before them. And now I fish with them and I'm always like learning from them. And I'm like, dude, I fish so much more than you guys. And like, <laughs> I've been doing it longer. Why do you guys get to know all the link? Like you all know all the hatches now and know the names, all the bugs and stuff. And it's like, Cause that's the side of fly fishing that I haven't gotten into is the reading of the books and the actually learning and sitting down. And like today I rode the exercise bike and watched a YouTube video on how to tie a perfection loop knot. There you like, go. <laughs> there you and, go. I mean, it's the kind of stuff you got to do actually to turn that next level. You're which, just going out there for the love based on, you know, just loving it and not going to like learn anything, but now you're there and now you're looking at YouTube tutorials. Like that's fucking amazing, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's it'll always be just for a, a great excuse to get yourself in nature. And I don't know, there's something about like, I know I'd like to, like, how are you going to, how else are you going to stand on the, you, everyone loves standing on the edge of a lake and looking at a beautiful, mm. but you maybe can't enjoy it for as long. Like, it'll start to fade and you'll be like, what am I doing? Like, maybe I should go somewhere else. But when you're fishing, you're like, it just do that 10 hours standing there just, Time will fly when you're not catching fish. Let me oh, ten, ten hours? Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, you'll put. I put in whole day, from dawn to dusk <laughs> all the time. Amazing. And like wow. the amount of time that I want to have my fly out of the water is like I rush food. I rush going to the bathroom. I rush everything just because like it only. Wow. It all depends on keeping that fly on the water for that one big right. score. Right. Could come down. Well, I'm gonna say my wife is glad I'm not doing fly fishing, <laughs> bro. She she gets pissed enough for me being out golfing for four hours, let alone ten hours. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, the, the trick, the way to do it is start your relationship by when you like have to get away, like be that dude who like 
like she's just she's known me for so long she's used to the guy that like when i got upset he left to go to the bar or something so now me leaving to go fishing to go, yeah oh, she's at ease there. she's like huh oh, he's, he's it's better fishing. better than the yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but are you drinking while fishing not all definitely not all I, I don't drink much really um but I mean, it's obviously a great time drinking, <laughs> unfortunately. But, I mean, I get by with my fish and flick ash every day. Definitely yeah. don't ever fish without flicking ash. You and your nature, bro. You love <laughs> it, man. You love it, bro. A little too much sometimes. as we. Well, we time. have talked. To, we, we talked about We touched on it, and you, we have become one with nature a few times. <laughs> uh, He's touched yeah. on it, too. You've touched on <laughs> it. Roger's got some I'm, good I'm, ones. I'm Roger, whenever blending. you're drinking tonight, man, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's working, right? Yeah, yeah. He's that wine. <laughs> good one liners. Awesome. Uh, hell yeah. But so what's going on though? So you said you're you are you are dealing with the the injuries and stuff. So you're not are you skating right now? Or what what's your, what's your um, yeah, I've been it's I haven't been for the last just over a month and a half or okay. two months or so, but um I don't know. I feel like I've gotten, <laughs> no, that's a stupid point. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> I've just been doing, yeah, I've, I've bought a wheat, 1% of a weed farm. One per, so, Okay. Or no, more than that. 1.25. 1. 1.25. 1. Is that, is that an organ? Yeah, Oregon lifestyle. First thing I did was get this hat made. <laughs> <laughs> the Oregon, yes. Oregon lotto sign, but with the fucking... With little joint <laughs> Oregon lifestyle that's sick that's fucking amazing congrats dude yeah, yeah. that's amazing stoked on it are you just a uh, you know a, like a silent investor do you go up to the farm and check everything out yeah I'm definitely you're... always there like I mean I've been skating for him for like two years oh okay nice. maybe gotcha. more than that now actually and uh we were just out on the golf club, out on the golf course my man you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was talking about um needing they were looking to maybe get in some selling off like 10 percent of the company to finish off what they needed to do on the farm to like oh. finish the last couple of greenhouses and stuff and wow um i was like whoa wait is what what would it take to maybe get a little bit of this and they were like oh man that would you actually would be interested in that and they, they were that would be awesome for them they so everyone was stoked and after a couple months of figuring it all out got it done and got your proud owner of a weed farm now amazing yeah, that's dude. awesome that's so congrats sick, man that's super you're, so you're flicking yeah. ashes everywhere bro dude i can i can now i can now f flick fish and flick ash my own product and i've also about to finally launch parachute papers Parachute After 10 nice. years of talking about it. Bring us back up to speed with the parachute papers. If you're going to get high, you're going to need a parachute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's okay. the bottom I line. I love that. And, uh, yes. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a the probably the biggest paper snob <laughs> that ever was. And yes. it's ta that's why it's taken me like I've owned the trademark mm. for like two or three, I keep having to pay it, the oh, yeah, extensions, because yeah. if you don't have a product, mm -hmm. I, you just have to keep paying. So I've already spent like oh, man. a couple of G's on just not making a product. <laughs> but that shit's yours. Because I, I, mean, I kept getting boxes of samples from all over the world and none of them would be slightly good enough. And I'm like, my whole idea of marketing these is super and I want to be able to smoke my product. Yeah. Damn it. And of course. <laughs> so in your so, opinion, what makes the best paper? Like what's there's, I mean, ultra thin rice paper, but it's got to have like, I was getting a lot of ultra thin rice papers, but they don't, they don't have, they don't burn right. They don't support a heavy load a weed. Like, I okay. mean, mm. elements and OCBs and, um, used to be the smoking brand, but they just let me, I used to, I always smoked the smoking blues for a while, but they just went to a hemp paper for that. Now they're terrible. Mm. Um, unfortunately, hemp paper is no good for the, the spliff smoking. And huh. I don't know what it is. They just, I just don't like how they burn and roll. And if you have any bit of moisture on your hand, they just tear like, oh, zig, like zigzag also terrible. And then we finally, like I, I love what raw is about and everything, but like, I don't personally like their papers. They're kind of weird to roll with. And mm. I finally found 
the company that does the same leaves as OCB and uh, got a sample box from them and it's like, whoa, like, I think we finally have, I can, I can actually stand behind saying that I believe these are the highest quality papers that are on the market. And uh, I don't have my branding. I mean, this is, I, Okay. <laughs> it is the papers and okay. it's got a pink filter tip because that's how some of the samples came. I think I'm gonna go with green green tips because you know creature. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All ties in together, right? Mm -hmm. So now you're going to finally get it going and start um yeah, selling it. What's going this on? This is like the big announcement, actually. Right oh, now. This yeah. is, <laughs> we're, getting there the, there we're getting the exclusive. I'm, Perfect. I'm using I'm using your platform that, to launch. Hey, please do. I'll send you guys yeah. some fucking papers. That's what we're here do you for. have a website yet? Do you have anything we could? Yeah. Put? Well, no wait. With no website. Can we do a collab? Our website's being made right now. We own the name of the website and everything. Okay. Parachutepapers.com parachute and Parachutepapers parachute Instagram. Okay. I don't know if we put anything on there yet. We're we're trying to. We just got. The design finished. I got one of my wife's good friends, boyfriend has gone above and beyond to just Amazing. take, like he heard that I've been trying to do this and struggling with the logo and mm. just like made a bunch of stuff just on his own. And sick. I'm, it's rad and came up with uh, like, we're going to do supply drops. Like there's like going to be a scan your, um, like one of those phone, Tech Dave, QR, I'm blowing it again. I, but, IT uh, Dave, yeah. Mm -hmm. so like a yeah, QR you take, code you take thing. A photo of it, yeah. and it brings you, so you can, once you get low on your papers, you get your supply drop fucking anywhere. Supply drop, yeah. Like the pair, like it comes in on the parachute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No get a su subscription fucking account, you know? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Subscriptions are hot these days. I mean, I, listen, I, I could imagine if you find the right thing, you want to keep, you know, getting it yeah keep it on deck. so you want to yeah i mean i know i was i was yeah it's, and it's hard in america like i it's really is tough in america like in europe you can go to any gas stations type store and you can get quality papers but mm -hmm. here we're still living in like zigzag world where like people want to get some blueberry flavored like <laughs> bullshit or something right, and, right. like i said we finally have um i mean i don't yeah I love, some, I love it for everybody. Well, that's the thing for me. But you have the rice. It's like a rice based paper, right? Is that what you're saying? Well, apparently no, it's called rice. See, I'm learning a lot about rolling papers these days and it's called rice paper, but it, it's not made of rice or anything. It's mm. just been, the Chinese are really good at, I don't think it's a slur against them or anything, but they're, um, they're the ones that make it. And it's just a way of describing holding paper, right. I guess. Right. And, how thin is it? Can you hold it up to the light and maybe see through it? Let's do yeah. it. Should we do a test right now? I mean, the, what's going on? Okay. They're super thin for sure. And I've, Look at that. But there's something else that you like that the elements have it, but I haven't any, all the sample packs that I've been getting don't really have it. There's like some, they don't have the integrity in the paper. Like there's some sort of micro, um, to make it burn Shapes properly in there to, and give it the strength to like hold your load, you know, mm -hmm. like what, right. if you have the like king size paper huh? and you don't want it to like, like I roll inside out. So you're always left with, you seal it from the other side across the glue line. And with a lot of the hemp papers or other ultra thins, you'll rip holes while you're pulling that excess paper off. Cause everything's just so gotcha. fragile. Yep. God, there's such a tip. Well, listen, man, entrepreneur Dave, bro. We love yeah, it. Yeah, like, love um, it. I've been trying to learn more about the science because talking to these factories, trying to explain them why I don't like their papers <laughs> is really hard because I don't even know myself how to like explain like it's the same kind of paper as element. And I'm like, uh, no, it's it's not like this isn't right or whatever. And, I, and if anything, I want to beat element. And, there, sure. There yeah. you go, man. Parachute paper. I love it, bro. Yeah. Is he, he's the first one to be smoking on the show. No, we had Lil Wayne. No, but on the Zoom. Oh, on the Zoom, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I couldn't Everybody smoke. Oh, yeah, I didn't Netflix. smoke. I was smoking outside last time. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Though. Oh, yeah, you I'll also brought... The, remember the background? You brought, like, uh, what did you... Like, Some like, background aquarium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. aquarium. Such a rush aquarium backgrounds. <laughs> I wanted to get... <laughs> we still have it around here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
it would have been sick if it would have i would have been able to get more and bigger ones like i wanted to build a whole like forest scene behind me but instead, <laughs> yeah. i think we just had like a 12 by 12 yeah. like he brought this with him yeah he, we, we would put it up on the back as like a, 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 a queer you put it on your aquarium so yeah. that gives you a dope background That's but he, we, he used it on the show i love it i got a snake since last time i've been on so oh. i didn't have to leave the house anymore to do my snake catching and uh <laughs> But I was going to have him out, but he's in the middle of, he's doing his first shed. Ooh, and this, he's whoa. growing. Wow. What's, Wait. His, what's his name? Um, he's a Western hog nose. So his name is Tom T. Hog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Wait, did are, you dude, catch I, it? Did you catch no, it? No, they. Okay. I don't really know exactly where they're native to. When you look on the map, it shows like almost the whole United States, but... <laughs> I ain't never seen a Western hog nose anywhere. <laughs> They're actually slightly venomous. They are really fucking unique looking. They got the fucking turned up little noses. Okay. And, uh, mm. um, slightly venomous. That's why it was really hard to find. When I decided I wanted a snake, I started researching it, decided that there was no other snake for me besides the hog nose. I really wanted it to eat <laughs> frozen mice because, like, I've had mice as pets. I really didn't want to, like, feed live mice to it yeah, and gotcha. hog noses i always really feel some sort good. of way when i see a live mice. like yeah yeah it, it sucks it sucks yeah, yeah. i feel for it the, yeah i feel for the, it yeah, yeah. you yeah. know yeah. robert neal yeah. i love you you know you showed that quite a few times but i always felt like fuck i feel bad for the little yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. so yeah. The, so he eats frozen. frozen where do you get those from a pet store but you couldn't get you couldn't find hog noses in any of the counties in Oregon, because most counties it's illegal to sell them because they're technically a venomous snake, but mm. they're very good natured. So they hardly ever bite as is and they're rear fanged. So they have to like, you have to let it like suckle on your finger basically to get it, it's fangs mm. into you. And then it's not that venomous, but some mm. Instagram homie did send me a, a DM of a pic. He had a hog nose about half, <laughs> halfway down his finger and <laughs> then sent me a photo of, his hand afterwards and it was like super swollen and uh they're pretty funny like they do a lot of mock strikes like when i go to pick them up they're notoriously kind of um jerks when they're young and uh he he does some hissing and striking but it's usually mocks for like i've never been bit by him he just kind of hits your hand with like a closed mouth or whatever and then they'll even like play dead sometimes and flip over and but once once he's done with all that he's perfectly fine okay and, wow wow <laughs> do you carry any like anti-venom or anything or anti oh uh, no i don't think you yeah. no oh, okay well i'm glad you got little pets dude that's amazing bro yeah we got so ducks sick. too you ducks ducks perfect <laughs> love those guys <laughs> love those guys you got ducks drone no i just i mean we we, we talk about them quite often you know? um i've always been a fan of ducks <laughs> dude i think the i think it came up with is like if if a duck was going to attack you yeah you know like you'd hit the duck, you know, Jaron would punch the duck. Yeah. There was a video that it was a viral video of this like duck chasing this kid. And I, I was like, I, first of all, the kid's young. So he probably wouldn't, the first thing that would come to his mind would be run mm-hmm. for me. I'm just like, I'm fucking hit this thing. <laughs> you know, you'd, you dude, one of our ducks is aggressive as fuck too. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm just gonna swipe at it, you know, just kind of like. Yeah, you'd hit it. Yeah, yeah. Hit the throw thing. ducks are kind of, dude. I, yeah. I, I don't say I don't hit him, but like he's, <laughs> he's a dick. Like he fully. <laughs> yes. He the duck rape is really bad. Like the way they mate is the male like stands on top and grabs a hold of the neck of the female and just kind of tries to pin her down. Oh wow. And, mm. We didn't know what the sexes of these ducklings were. It all started because I found a, a duckling in a spillway mm. at a lake. And it was stranded there. That's I got it out. There was no other ducks around. So I had to take it home. And then we called a, a farm supply store and was like, we got this duck. What do we need? And they're like, well, you need a friend for it first. We got this We got this one-eyed <laughs> duck. You got a, they have yeah. a one-eyed duck. They had a one-eyed duck that needed <laughs> adopting. So then we got this one-eyed duck and it was a different breed. It was a pecking. And those are like, we. I mean, we didn't know any of this at the time. We were just like, well, this one's white. This one's a mallard, obviously. And okay. um, turns out it's the like the biggest duck there is. And it was named Lisa and Duck Owens was the mallard. 
and uh, Duck Owens turned out to be a female and Lisa's a male oh. and we're having a real hard time like trying to keep them both like they have to spend a lot of days separated because he won't just leave her alone and oh, wow. <laughs> when I see it going down we run out and like I grab I scoop him up and I'm like no I'd like scold him like a dog like <laughs> yeah. what do you do like don't do that like carry him back to the and he doesn't really get fate like he still comes to me and he like he's very social with everyone and he protects He'll protect the female over all costs, but he's her biggest threat. That's what he doesn't oh, seem to oh, understand. Wow. Like I've seen a cat come into the yard and he just chases the cat down. Oh, wow. both of our dogs. Like he won't let, is he in the, is he in the Does he ever court? snap at you? Dude. No, I mean, he jump. I don't know what he's doing. We don't know what he's doing when he does this, but both of our ducks, sometimes when we're like feeding them hand, feeding them treats, will like get all, sh they shake and then they run and jump into you. Like, what? And we like don't head know first? Like with their head? Just full duck. Just <laughs> flat, full flapping duck. duck. They go full yeah. duck. They're excited or maybe. I don't I, don't I think, know. I don't know. Did both of them do it? Yeah, but the male definitely does it like more. Oh, Is man. there like a video of this? Yeah. I'm like, hey, fuck a YouTube channel, bro. You need a reality I show. I know, yeah, dude. dude. How do you this not have like pretty dude. amazing? I would I love to see understand. this. I would love to see this. But wait, don't ducks fly? Yeah. Well, Lisa, there's no way that fat ass thing. Oh, she's <laughs> okay. He, or he's um, chilling. He's, he's not yeah, going he anywhere. He's ground ridden for life okay. for sure. And, <laughs> okay. um, fat duck. Duck Owens <laughs> flew for a bit, but not like when we'd first like come out there for food or something. She mm -hmm. would fly over and. Uh, so they're not flying away. Like well, they, they she did. She did fly. We left once, and she. They like people, so our mm. neighbors were out, and she flew over the fence to hang out with the neighbors, <laughs> and he, she just hung out with them for a couple hours, and then we got home, and she was like, yeah, we have, we we have your duck. <laughs> <laughs> and so then we had to clip her wings, which is a really scary process, but oh, wow. doesn't really affect them, and it's really not that bad, but it okay. was just really scary to possibly bleed your duck out if you... Yeah. Yes, you so. want to make sure that you get you don't cut it too low. Oh wow! And, and that's you only to prevent to her from flying over the fence. Yeah, or just flying away, away in general. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't know if they would like. Where we take them when we go out of town, we take them to my mom's house sometimes because my mom always had chickens. Mm. Um, but they finally got over them getting eaten by predators. Yeah. That's pretty much anyone who's ever had ducks or chickens. It almost always ends with. Yep. A predator getting them, unfortunately, and I had chickens. Not really hard to not yeah, yeah. be that, but we, yeah, I've seen hawks circling. Yeah, <laughs> but and I don't think a hawk would have no chance with Lisa. Maybe <laughs> the mallard. Lisa's not going anywhere. No. No. <laughs> But yeah, maybe send us a photo. A yeah, you gotta maybe I, send us a photo of Lisa. It's if you. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I just want to. I gotta see this thing. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what this fat duck looks uh, like. Yeah. Eagle would have a hard time lifting up Lisa. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> I've been wanting to know because I could easily film this duck rape, but it just feels it's so cruel. Oh, okay. Like I don't even want to. Like sometimes I almost film it just to put it out there. Like, dude, this sucks. Like, how do you? avoid this or whatever but right I don't even really want to and you have to break it break it up which is yeah i wonder if there's like i mean do they spade and neuter ducks no is that a, no they don't they're oh. farm animals people don't usually like take them this seriously like okay. so many people would have just like one or either just let it ride out or gotten rid of one of them or eat it. neuter they duck. are very attached to each other too okay. and mm -hmm. Ducks do mate for life, most of them. Mallards do for sure. Oh, interesting. They keep the same mate. Yeah, a lot I, of them. I, cool. lot of I do notice that. I go out in the canals, there's always like the same ducks with each other. Mm -hmm. oh, they just roll to yeah. yeah, they roll together. Yeah. Like, huh. They do roll together. These ducks, man, fascinating animals. They are. Any other animals, bro? Yeah. It sounds like you got a full fledged farm over there. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Dogs and snakes. Dogs, ducks, snakes. Little dog got a eight thousand dollar back surgery oh, that was cool God. he just one day i went camping and came back and he was paralyzed <gasps> what well no he, i came back and there was a bunch of calls from liz and a message oh, saying no. dominic's getting emergency back surgery right now what happened oh, you don't know goodness. he was just he's a lemon dog that dog is just 
He's, he's not even a, three a, yet, a, and a he's lemon. just like had so many issues. And but you love him, but you love him dearly. That's the thing. Yeah, and I mean, we're happy. We if we didn't have him, I don't think anyone Somebody else would have yeah. put him down. Fuck, that's or you just have thing. one of those wheel things behind him. He's probably going to because when his disc, he's got bad discs, and one of his discs mm. just finally like exploded. So another disc could do the same thing. It's tough because she's not allowed to. He can't play with Issy anymore. So that's. Did you have the little wheelchair thing for him, or not yet? No, he actually never. Like he went in there unable to like move his back legs, and okay. after the four-hour surgery, he was able to move. But he was. I mean, he had to stay in a kennel for wow. I think like two, two months at least, oh. and then like God. he's just now allowed to like walk like go on walks with that off leash a little longer but we haven't really been letting him off leash because he has a tendency of trying to start shit with big dogs okay so. oh geez need that right now. how yeah. old's the dog like not even three. Oh man Damn. that's Dude. so sad bro i can yeah. understand man i bought like an accord on how much i spent on my dog that i had for like 12 years i mean so I could I can understand like hospital bills and all that shit. It's no mm. joke. And I love my dog, so I'm like I'll do anything for him. Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's super tough. It's like, insane. Yeah, yeah to, to let shit go. But man, I admire that, bro. Good shit, man. To to keep your dog, you know. Yeah. Because like you said, some other p they probably may put him down. You know. Yeah. Just can't do it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's your responsibility. Yeah. From when I've always been raised that as, if you get an animal, you are taking the responsibility to give that animal the best possible life because yeah. so, it has no other choice. Like it, it can't go say, you know what? You're not doing it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go get raised by this other person or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like totally. Yeah. He's a family member at the end of the day. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, good shit. I'm glad you got the, the parachute papers coming out. And so the, that's amazing. You got to let, you got to keep, keep us up to date with that, you know? For sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely send you guys some, yeah, some packs for anyone who's yeah. on the pot. Let's I don't get know. it. I love the support, dude. Yeah. You already know, man. We, we do, we have a little uh, close thing of being on a uh, bong appetite. You know, we went yeah. on that years ago. That, wasn't it crazy how little footage they used of our whole, like, kind of. Yeah, yeah, thing. for sure. They edited like, we did, the We breakdown. filmed so much stuff and then it was like. Two seconds. Oh yeah, they, they shrunk it oh, down. Wait, what's pretty... Bong Appetit? Um, it was on Vice. It was like a, a show that yeah they would highlight uh, marijuana being cooked with, uh, infused with uh, food. Mm -hmm. Oh, and ours happened to be pizza that night, right? Yeah, it was pizza. You yeah. guys were on it together. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. And there was a few other skateboarders as well. Um, we but it was a good so time. baked before everyone was so fried by the okay, time yeah. like we started <laughs> the green room to that was insane. Just platters of like. Just bowls of keef, bowls of ground up <laughs> weed. Like I think the... we were probably one of the highest on the show. I would say that's, that's <laughs> probably why they didn't use any of your footage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like these guys, we can't even. No. That, that might have been it. I, yeah, that might have been it. We might have just been a bad representation, just looking smoked. <laughs> so they're like, we got to use this one way or another. But right. they, they salvaged everything. Had weed in it. Like you couldn't get anything. Like girl, maybe I'll sip. Try to even it out with this beer. Oh wait, no, this beer has weed in it. Like yeah. everything's oh, got weed in it. Wow. Like no, this is maybe you guys are so high you didn't realize it. Five minutes for like five hours. It was. I think yeah. I took my first dabs too. It maybe. was. I did too. Damn. That, wow. Dabs, dabs will get you high. Shit, huh? Yeah. yeah, that's an early. Definitely. I haven't smoked it. I don't remember how long, huh. but fun time overall yeah. though. It was a good time. I mean, it yeah. sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like it. Definitely. I think I. Yeah, I just had so shoulder surgery too. I think because oh they had gosh. a mini ramp set up, but oh, yeah, they nobody did. was. Everyone was like too high to skate it. Yeah, too. we were like, oh, yeah, we're probably good. <laughs> we're, we're good. <laughs> this is a random question. Like, I don't know anything about weed. Is there a certain type of weed that you like to smoke? Uh, good weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good answer. Makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> um, lifestyle Farms cannabis. Cannabis to complement your lifestyle. There you go. Damn. Okay. That's there a you yeah, go. There's your. That's a good plug right there, bro. Fuck yeah. Because I always hear like sativa or indica, and I'm like, I don't know what any of that is. I'm an indica smoker. Mm. So I like indica. I'll smoke hybrids as well because they have hybrids. Okay. But I don't really. I'm not a fan of sativa. What's the difference though? Skativa. Like, you don't like some skativa? I, I mean, you, no. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. But if, I, if there's nothing else there, I'll 
I'll, I'll is indulge. it different feeling of a high or something or what is it or is it just taste differently or something both i honestly yeah i honestly don't often feel too much of a difference from it i like i pretty much just kind of notice good weed or bad weed <laughs> that's, 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 that's it that's, that's it, it. I, I mean i do sometimes notice that certain weed will give me more energy than others and right. i I'm, I'm usually a fan of the energy style ones so you perf- you smoke and then skate and do the shit that you do um i do i'm i do every i haven't it's done part a of thing the high in fucking years <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to encourage fucking kids to smoke. It do, you don't. I didn't start smoking until I was eighteen. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're, you don't need it when you're a kid. You're just high on life, anyways. There and you then you, once yeah. you get to That's adulthood, true. then you have to smoke weed in order to continue your <laughs> your childhood stuck. thirst for life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> whatever works. You bro. are the whatever best. Whatever works. Yeah. Straight, I love it, bro. Straight I up. Love it. Well, listen. Speaking of, you know, skating high and all this stuff, maybe you could break down some of these clips that uh, we pulled of you and you could tell us if you were high or not. Huh? I was trying to see if I could pull this whole thing without talking about skating. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. You were almost there. But but, but listen, we did some homework, bro. We did some, we, so we got to talk about some stuff that that you did on a skateboard. Can't let you get away. Let's shift it over from, you know, Smoking Dave to skate it, skater Dave. That's just regular Dave. Oh, just, <laughs> okay. just Dave. Just Dave. Yeah, yeah. This is Dave. Yeah. Dave. Okay. Regular Dave. Regular. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. Well, Here's what a, we got? It's, that sure as hell wasn't me doing that switch flip manual in the background. No, 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 no. That's a different. That's a. That's a. That's regular Chris. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, so all your video parts that we pulled, like you did, you've done like no, some shit. beast rails, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, I was always, I've always been a fan of that aspect of it, just finding something and just one way down, like just yeah. trying to conquer A to B. Like I don't know. <laughs> I love it, man. Where, where, where the hell is this? This is uh, uh is that's not tour or something. Wait, that's an album. Where it's not famous. It's got a famous C rail. It's, I mean, I, I huh. can't believe I can't remember. It's got to be Albuquerque or so El Paso. Okay. It's either Albuquerque or it's got to be Albuquerque. <laughs> what C rail? Oh, um, the big fat square one that a lot of people, I should be able to remember one trick that somebody's done on it, but apparently I can't. Um, is it curved or something? Yeah, it's like a complete C. C. It's gone now, actually, but it was a pretty hot spot. That's what we went there to look, but that rail's there, oh, too. Okay. And So you just came across was, this rail? Yeah, and it was like 11 or new. It was early in the day. It was the first spot that we checked out, mm. and I like saw this option and was like, I want to grind this thing, but like we should go get food and like warm up <laughs> and stuff and we're like, yeah, that'd be great. We all like to eat and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, I'm just going to get my, I just want to take a couple like run ups or something. And then it turned into like all in on. And like, I made it to just about the end in the first like 10 minutes. And it literally turned into an entire day meltdown oh. of, I went through two full sets of batteries for my speaker. And <laughs> what was the problem? You just, wow. you couldn't get past that last uh, I turn? don't know. I just kept fucking losing it. When you when you grind something like that, like you have too much time to think about it. That's and once true. it turns into a deal, as soon as you start your process, you're just like, is this the one? I sure hope this is the one. I'd sure <laughs> like to go drink a beer and, with the boys over there and like join in on all the <laughs> Flick some ash. reindeer yeah. games they've been playing while I've been out here losing my head <laughs> and um, I will say, amazing. dude, I saw some video of you f- flipping out, and I think it was the like I, I laughed so fucking hard, dude. No, no, yeah. no, it was the it was the it was the kinker. We actually talked about it, I think, on the show. Oh, it was uh, no, 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 not this one. The uh, that one, no freakouts. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was it? This one. This one. Yeah, that was a nightmare, dude. Because <laughs> you did have some type of edit out where it was showing you all the the bails and slams, and weren't you saying that yeah. like uh, the cops rolled up? on this like right uh, yeah we'd gotten i mean that was my third time back for it a whole plane flight whole trip back just for that because it was trying to get my ender for the x games real street and mm-hmm. 
every time like I'd almost grind it, I'd take some bad slams and then we get kicked out. And the second time I was really close and the cop pulled up, tried one more time. And then I just laid on the ground and then he like called me over with a loudspeaker and he was just a real piece of work right from the get go. And just like gave me the whole thing that they do of like, can't you read the signs and like, blah blah, blah. And, yeah. oh and he also tried to say he used to skateboard and he also gave me a ticket right away even though i was trying to like show him my out-of-state id like he wasn't the same cock that, cop that i said cock, cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wasn't the same one that kicked me out um before so as far as he knows it was my first time i was just some dude from washington sure you know, oregon at the, Wait, the dude <laughs> the dude said he used to skate and gave you a ticket i hate when people do that yeah, when people worst. say they used to skate i'm like if you used to skate you'd think this was cool and you wouldn't be such a fucking dick right now and yeah. like i just had a i hit a breaking point when he hit me with the um because i was trying to tell him i didn't know like this was such a big deal or whatever because i'm not from here or mm -hmm. whatever and he's like oh you can't read the signs or whatever i'm like uh, and I just went off and <laughs> it was bad, man. I, I got, I told him to shoot me in the head cause I didn't want to, yeah, I was gone, dude. I was <laughs> in the mid, like, and you were lost. I was in the never trick, aggressive. Right? I like told him I didn't want to live in the same world with people as shitty as him. And like, <laughs> yeah. um, dude, the film, I, we had none of it's on film. Cause he was just like, dude, this was too gnarly to film. Like I couldn't even, I didn't know what was happening, man. Like, and um, <laughs> what was his response to all he, that? he said that he was gonna have to take me somewhere because like he was worried about my safety and i was like don't act like you fucking care about me if you cared about me you wouldn't give me a fucking ticket and like i just couldn't get back in the van with everyone after not getting this and every i was i was like oh. telling him yeah it was it was bad then he called it like three other cop cars showed up and oh. he tore the ticket up oh, really he, yeah, and never had cops never do that. Like I've never That's had that happen rad. ever. I mean, he was a dick though, for sure, from the start. But he finally tore the tick up, tick it wow. up, and I, I still called him an asshole as I turned away and walked. Like I got back to the crew, and they were just like, my, like everyone just looking at me like <laughs> eyes wide, like how the fuck did you just do that? Like <laughs> and get away with it. Get away yeah. with it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, dude, you're talking shit to a cop. They'll. I'm surprised they didn't take you, like, arrest you or some shit. Yeah, that ego. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I've yeah. definitely now done way less and gotten in way more trouble. And then so the third time you went back, you got the clip, no cops? Yeah, they caught. They showed up right after I landed it. Perfect. It was such, I mean, every time was, like, a couple hours. And Jeez. I knew I just needed, like, a little bit more. And I sacked it a couple times. I think I snapped my wrist on one of them and oh yeah Th those 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 tight kinkers i mean i have no idea but i could I, I would imagine that those are really tough to you know okay yeah, get through those get through them wait yeah where where was that rail or where is that rail i mean now i mean it's crazy the stuff people grind these days this is almost just like embarrassing to even like <laughs> look at this and be like this was such a fucking nightmare like people are fucked these days yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's true, but this is uh, you I mean, know this is no joke, bro. Yeah, don't take away from yourself, yeah. Bro. Well, because I was because so this was on a trip that you were on. Um, when we first found it, I was just on a little mission with my car, two boys, San Jose homies, down to um, uh, Redlands, and we were just skating. There's skating a bunch of shit, and uh, okay, found that, and no one had ever grinded. I was kind of surprised that no one had grinded it. Hmm. That was one of the nightmares about that rail. It had the, this fresh paint on it that like chipped away and stuck in your trucks. Oh, so gotcha. I had a few. That's when I got sacked and like broke my wrist and stuff. Is because I'd be grinding, thinking everything was good, and then, boosh, fucking wow. stop. Yeah. Head over heels, man. What I'm gonna have to crack another can after watching this. Yeah, thing. go ahead, bro. Go <laughs> ahead. Deep from this. this is, uh, I love. We don't want to bring back any bad memories, man. Uh -huh. I love when you landed it, man. You saw like you like fall onto the ground. Yeah. I was like, man, the re I felt the relief right there. What about this one, dude? This one was uh, this one was really impressive, man. The the fifty fifty uh, body burial. Fuck yeah, that was yeah. sick, bro. Did that proper as hell too. Damn, was this is this trying to make me look like a trendsetter right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man, this is a while ago, right? This is your the Transworld part. And now, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, that was. Was that a, was that a that trick one. that you just wanted to try, or did you think about it at the at uh, at the spot? Um, I thought about it because I've been doing it at skate parks, mm, and gotcha. I wanted to find a street rail and seeing that one from the videos called Cannon's infamous balanced nose grind. One mm. of the oh yeah, it's gotta be still one of the sickest handrail tricks fucking done. Just a perfectly balanced nose grind. Was that know. Cole Cannon? Yeah, mm-hmm. so sick. Damn, that's awesome. You did that so comfortable, bro. Fuck. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming that Malto wasn't there on this one, huh? <laughs> Dude, I haven't ran. I haven't got to run into Malto yet since then to fucking really get to the down to the brass tacks of things. And fight him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we have a, it, it, this, this goes back, man. This is, <laughs> yeah. we, we talked about it on Dave's first episode that he was on here. Um, they, they were filming for the Transworld video, correct? You and Malto yeah. and um, you, Dave, he could probably explain this better. I'm just trying to give a long short of it. Mm-hmm. He got hurt and never wanted to skate with Malto. He, you thought Malto it might have. It one time. It was like every, there was like five incidents in a row where like everything was fine. Then the second Malto would show up, I'd wind up hurting myself. <laughs> something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> And it was never anything like we got to go on this again, like never anything against him as a like he was always the raddest dude the whole time. Like I, just, I felt horribly embarrassed about myself because I'd been the most opposite of the raddest dude. I just like <laughs> gotten hurt on something stupid and then usually like had a meltdown because of it. <laughs> so I, I felt a little embarrassed of my actions for sure. But oh my like, goodness. So Malta then- was like the bad like luck guy. Like essentially, I do right? yeah, pretty much. I got in my head more than I do now. Now I've just fucking realized that stuff's fucking gonna yeah. happen no matter what. But I definitely used to be a, a little bit of a superstitious dude. I had that period where I wouldn't take any like things I got on my any of my bracelets off from mm. like events or whatever because I had <laughs> some incident where like as soon as I took it off, I got like snapped my foot or something. Oh, geez. oh whoa! So that went on for a while and. But Still have the Scully and yeah. God, the we, things we think about. Bro. No, I know. And then know, you, so Dave weird. was on the show and then Malto was on the show. We brought it up to Malto because Malto, I don't think Malto even had any idea. Right. He was just like, oh, Dave never <laughs> skates in front of me anymore. It's weird. Wait, I thought he knew because he talked about it on, his, I think before. Yeah, did he know or did he not know? I don't know if he I knew during he the process. Maybe after. Maybe he after. He heard. Heard. I think he said. I don't even remember now. <laughs> Should have done my research. You guys are the ones supposed to know. All I, know, I know, I know. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Anyway, but no blood, no bad blood. It's just you know, just Malto, and he. Not, I think I, no, not at all. I sure hope not. Yeah, Malto's awesome, dude. Yeah, definitely. Um, but let's keep this going. You got uh, this is um, I love shit like this, bro. This is and this is the type of stuff that I love about you, bro. The, <laughs> the street kayak is. <laughs> Dude, that did not work exactly how planned, but we got it done. <laughs> did it just start going and did they push someone push you? Dude, that's a steep. No, I didn't have to get pushed at all. <laughs> <amazing>. you know? <laughs> it just, um, I mean, we had to tie that board on no matter. <laughs> it took a bunch of tries. Like, oh, I didn't even realize there was a fucking a board under tries. there. Once you get going, the speed wobbles just. <laughs> like. There, it's sketchy because there's a big dock that you can't see to the side. And I was really scared that one of the time, like one of these times, it was just going to veer straight into the wall. Oh my gosh. Look how Oh, and we lost the board the first time. I forgot about that. The first attempt, the board got lost in the water and I was swimming under the dock, like fucking going scuba exploring, finding it. And then we found it, and it, of course, like worked even worse. All the <laughs> I love how it Super starts wiggly. off all squirrely. <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't know there was a board in there at first, bro. That's why I was like, "Wait, how did you fucking?" Oh all right. my god, fucking dude, goosebumps. dude, in your fucking face, straight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's concentrating. I'm sure. <laughs> so sick. Uh, Oh, but I love it how it's, it's squirrely, squirrely, <laughs> and then as soon as you hit the water, it's like, okay, cool, we're good. We're yeah, good. We're good. I, pulled, I pulled my pole out and got a got a cast out. <laughs> took me a second because my fly line was stuck on the guide. At the top. Wait, <laughs> That's probably the best clip we've ever reviewed on this uh, yeah, show, Yeah, straight bro. up. Wait, wait, what was that for? 
um that bronson part <laughs> that's right yeah the, that's right that's right yeah we that was we filmed a couple like oh my god nature shots a lot of the stuff with the dogs because there was in the original song that never got used there was lines about the dogs helping him like get through like life basically which was key to me at that time wow that that is just too good that's too that good. I should have had that. I could actually have that on loop. That's yeah, I, think I, I for sure would. That's, <laughs> Do that oh. to the next guy. Dude, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, put that on his. Loop. And you're like, what is this? What is that? <laughs> That's fucking. We should have every guest review this video. And oh see my the reaction. god. <laughs> it's so good. What do you think about wow. this? Dude, that's uh, wow! I haven't laughed that hard in the show for a long I don't, time. I almost fell over. I I just, that's, that's, hard for me, dude. that's rare to see Chris laughing on the show. Ooh. By the way, god damn, dude, fucking dick. This one's a good one too, though, because it's so. Like, dude, come on, dude, backflip, dude. <laughs> dude what dude. the hell? I'm drinking that fucking beer right oh, now. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to be so obvious in my product placement, but now I just have the first <laughs> yeah. thing my face, dude. Look yeah. At that. Oh, Damn. amazing. That's so sick. Wait, did somebody shoot Dude. that photo? Who who shot that? That was the boy. That was Kami. Co Dave, Dave Kami. Ooh. Amazing. The man, Dave the myth, the legend. He is the man. No, God, what I you... missed, I, it's been way too long. Since I love I Dave, bro. Yeah, he is. Um, the fuck. What was the. Did you. Have you tried that before? Or. Because it seems like, especially at a concrete park, it seems like very sketchy Hell to just yeah. try yeah the like, first attempt, yeah, first attempt. I mean, that one was right? definitely the i mean I, it wasn't my first backflip for sure okay but it was definitely the most it was the first one that didn't really have a a test water that much because like i really didn't want to i had this vision of jamming my knee into that uphill roller <laughs> like oh. bailing one and stiff stiff legging that oh. uphill oh wait interesting yeah. okay i never even like had, would th think about that yeah, so I didn't here. want to half attempt it, which was right. weird to me to go that, which was my other, my two biggest points in that was the scaredness of jamming my knee. And then also I'd never done a flip where you had no flat bottom in between. That's pretty much just a roller into the jump. Gotcha. And one of my life lessons that I learned from doing backflips on a skateboard was don't ever, you have to be calm in your takeout left. Don't ever try to squeeze one in when you're like, maybe I don't have the speed. Maybe I'm a little off center. Just mm. throw a flip. Like you have to be very, because <laughs> <laughs> I did that once and it fucking went awful. Oh. But like, well, you, you were just like, be... oh, fuck it. I'm going to try it. Like whatever. And then got it smoked. was the day I got my thrasher cover of the big 50, 50 in El Paso. I was oh, so yeah. wrecked from that. And I'd already started drinking and we had a demo that day. And we went to a demo and I hate being the dude who doesn't do anything to Like, I don't want to, if I can physically ride a board, I will ride it during a demo. Like right. just, I mean, I don't know. It's less awkward than standing around talking to everyone while you're not skating. And <laughs> um, I was figuring I'll get out there, just try my best for a second, throw it, get a backflip fly out, then just go like retreat to the van for a bit. Sure. And, I hadn't really tested the waters. I'd like pumped a corner wrong, like was going. I was like, I don't know, whatever, and tried it. And someone had video of it. I don't remember where it was, but I held the grab for a second and realized that I am not rotate. Like I'm going to land on my head if I don't <laughs> spring out of this. And oh my God. Barely, barely got out of that one. So that was the thing about that Klamath Falls one that scared mm. me was going into it without the calmness of a straightaway, like to get ready to throw your weight back. Gotcha. But didn't end up being an issue. And then I realized that I threw some to the side. That's how I got used to it. I tested, I threw some off the edge into the to dirt, that dirt mm. which was kind of weird as well. It was to try one off a hit, like, angled like that i'd never really done that but huh well how many uh, tries yeah. did it take at, at the end of the day um it honestly didn't uh i think i landed maybe this second or third one amazing that wow. i tried amazing but then i did a few more to try to do more of a tuck knee uh, well, I just love how yeah. like your upside it your your head is already looking for the land like you're yeah you have to yeah, i yeah, mean i guess to. but 
When you're upside down, that's crazy. Your head stays exactly where you're looking the yeah. entire time. That's or when what... you're halfway through, at least. Right. Yeah, that's that's how flips work. You spot your landing. And... I know, but I just c- couldn't even imagine <laughs> having the sense of being upside down, discombobulated, yeah. like spotting yeah. my landing. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just me. Yeah, I've never done. I mean, I've never like flipped on. I've never flipped over. But and you got high too, bro. <laughs> Look at that yeah. fucking. He thing. whipped the fuck out of that. That worked out great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. That was that was a wild, wild day, wild sesh. Amazing that Kami shot was, that too. And it's on a beer. It's on a Black Plague beer can. Yeah, they so did sick. a Trans World collab where like there's three and me, Matt Hensley and Nigel Houston are all like wow. investors of Black Plague. So Amazing. and we've all had. Trans world covers, so um yeah. Let's see that again. Let's see it again. Oh Beer, the yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah, I don't normally like, this I only have a one of these left. I was only oh, I was like man. I looked at it in the kitchen when I went in the kitchen there to get a beer. I was like look it's looking at it. Time. Like, Ah, it's a special occasion. <laughs> like yes. I found that one and then Here you guys we- pulled a fucking clip out like Perfect I feel time. like people are gonna Timing. see that like see that and be like, they planned that, but no. Hey, dude. Not at all. That dude. happens quite often over here. That's for sure. Hey, shit happens, man. What kind of beer is that? Like, uh, what, what? Uh, this style? is an IPA. It's Indian Pale Ale. Okay. Ooh. What's the alcohol yeah, percentage a darker. on that? Do you know that? Oh, uh, um, I should know. See, I'm, st- I'm, I gotta learn more about my brands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six point eight. Okay. Ooh. Get him. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Amazing. What about this clip? This is uh. I like this one, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, Dude I mean, it's so weird how many times. <laughs> yes. yes. That, uh, let me tell you something. That has to be, even though th- there's water there, you're hauling at, that has to be a scary transfer. Like, that has to be the scariest like jump fun. to, bro. Yeah. It's scary, a, it's it's scary as, uh, for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, I'd mean, be so he's scary. He's going fast for sure. <laughs> I was just so glad that one worked. I literally, I lost my board again. First attempt that we tried that. Oh, like, it's really <laughs> holding, that's Kevin Beckel holding the um, boogie board. Mm. And it's a really fucking hard thing to do to get that boogie board to stay in the imagine. right position. Oh, like, yeah, that's yeah. right. Like, stick. Yeah. like the first time I went, the boogie board was in a terrible position. I couldn't even get a slightest bit of a ride to it. And, uh, I lost, yeah, I lost my board it's down, down there, fucking still in the water somewhere. There's probably so many boards down there for anyone willing to get them. <laughs> and uh, wait a minute, called where? my roommate had to come drive down to the spot. He had to go through my like rooms looking for all the stuff he needs to build a complete skateboard, oh. and brought it all down to me so I could set up an entire brand new complete and be. I was so scared. I was just going to lose that one in the water oh first go God. as well. And luckily it worked out second attempt. And my board, I think <laughs> Kevin had to do a flying leap to like get my board from the water. So he really, he really killed it that day. What, what inspired you to do this? <laughs> I, I don't know. man. <laughs> I think I just wanted to do it. it just, I, it's weird. Cause that ramp has been like in the intro of like, three video parts or something for me all in different wow. ways like oh, isn't it wow in your video parts yeah wow um, wasn't this isn't uh brent actually brent actually was the first person to use it in a video part huh and then in i think it was in my and now intro or maybe it was i know i had one clip where i bombed down it and just do like a lawn dart front flip 180 like into the water mm. And there's a b- big sign saying, like, do not go in the water. <laughs> Wait, I, I you, just realized there's a piece of wood that you have to jump over. It's a metal. No, it's a metal fucking oh. bar. Oh, yeah. I and there's like there's a metal that. grate right before you get to the concrete. There's a metal grate that really like shakes your feet up. Oh, my. So it's that's dude. that's a metal grate right there. Right. Yeah. yeah and then I didn't even realize you had to jump over that bar. Huh. Sketchy. That's what dude. I'm saying. It could be that's a, I I'd be terrified. I wanted I want I think I really wanted to just know I wanted to see how far like I kinda I wanted to ride further than that. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we we took that one. I like in the beginning of this part or the footage. There's this guy in a bike, like looking at you, like, "What are you doing?" Like he's like, what? He's like "Dude, I get that." Wow. So wait, how many times? That, how many tries did that take you? Um, like two. Yeah, I think that was two. But they were just really. I mean, about two hours in between each one, and a right. real pain in the ass. Yeah. Who went after the boogie board? Or did you just leave it? Um, I was doing most of the swimming, I believe, okay. that day. <laughs> I think Kevin You're was already ready in the water. To rescue swimmer if he needed to be. But. <laughs> wow. If it was a surfboard, it might have been a different outcome, for sure. Yeah, you think that's I could have got further? I think so, yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> Go back. Yeah, you, I could, you I might mean, want to I do that. Go one up yourself. Were you try, was there another dock out of picture, friend, that you could have gone to or something Surf or? Dude, yeah no, let's just wide, <laughs> wide out into the willamette okay okay wow and, man <laughs> yeah i love shit like this. look at, look at, <laughs> look at surfer dave straight wow. up dude boogie board dave boogie yeah board. i can i can surf wherever there's not sharks <laughs> <laughs> that's a great yeah that's a good for sure yeah don't want to get out of those sharks bro what about this one man this is a long 50 50 bro a little bit jeez yeah, like, a, dude, the whole time I was thinking, should I try to kick flip out? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I felt so locked in, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, I should fucking go for it." But actually, <laughs> I threw my back out that morning. Like, I, my back went out at the skate park that morning. That's like, I don't normally take Advil or I try not to take any pills of anything. But right. that day, I remember I fucking whacked down some fucking Advil for sure. And Damn, you worked it out, and you still. God, mm-hmm. with yeah, the with the fucked up back, that's man, that's commendable, bro. That's wait, sketchy, so dude. you didn't wait? That's crazy. You were gonna kick a bit, but you're like, oh, I'm gonna play it safe and just grind it because even just grinding that rail is not. I didn't want it because it kind of took a while to get to. I mean, it's just weird how the rails work. You'll get like I think I was just getting about halfway, 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 and then mm. you just find that one where you're like, well, and you know it. Yeah, I think that's why it's so rad is that feeling of. of enjoying a trick longer like when you're trying like a fakey tray fucking switch front crook kick flip out it's hectic as fuck like right. the whole time like you're like there's not much when you land on it you're kind of in a moment of shock like yeah. oh my god not that i've ever done one and know what you're feeling <laughs> like but i imagine you'd be in a mo- like it's when i do a fucking switch nose manual fakey flip or something i'm yeah. like but the whole time i'm like my body's stressing, trying to fight like the grind or the manual and like, but when you grind a big rail, you have a good amount of it. You're like, well, this is in the back. Like got this, uh, this is gone. You could kind of enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So I I can see why you would want to do that kickflip at the end, especially if you were set up, but like, you also want to just get the land. Let me just land this shit. I know. Why didn't you keep trying it to do the kickflip? Dude, because my back was really mm. fucked. Oh, okay. I think I did try, like, I gave it, like, 10 more or something okay. like that, but oh. I didn't make it to the... I mean, you did that with your back again. hurting, bro. Like, That's, think yeah. about this is a skater, like, putting it all out there and, like, wanted to get it done that day, and he got that, you know what I'm saying? That, then you want to dig deeper, and you're fucking hurt. Yeah. How Especially your back. This? Yeah, your back's no joke. Yeah. Fucking hurt my back putting on my goddamn socks and shit. <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs> I uh, straight up. Yeah. We've all been there. Yeah. I hurt my back just sleeping. <laughs> it's true. I dislocated my oh, hips shit. sleeping. See? Oh, <laughs> good God. Like getting hurt in your sleep's no joke, man. I, I yeah. do talk about it on the show. But, dislocated um, my shoulder sleeping. Yeah. Damn. Really? Mm-hmm. My man. Dude. What happened? Did you fall off the bed or something? No, I mean, I hurt myself in 99. Like, I fucking tossed myself on this, like, double sided fucking yellow, uh, I think it was like a freeway divider in, in oh, Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada. I knew, yeah, I knew yeah. it was Canada as yeah. soon as you said it. Yellow. I got fucking, <laughs> bro- I got broke, and instantly my shit was out of place. And the, what I knew instantly to do was reach for the fucking sky, and my shit went back in. <sighs> oh. Right? And, like, I chilled for, like, I was like, damn, okay, cool. I went to go sit in the car for a second. My shit popped out in the car. I was, like, just chilling. And the shit, I got, oh. got, got, got pulled the fucking car open, reached oh. for the sky again, it went back in. I'm oh like, my oh, my God, God, dude, what the fuck? Dude, reach for, that's a Jeez. hectic technique. Yeah, I just reached for the fucking think- sky, and my shit just went back in. That's definitely not worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't know. That was my like natural man. thing to do, and it That's fucking insane, worked, so. bro. Yeah, it's, 
Yeah, but it's, it's so I just feel like, you on that shoulder shit is no joke. What about this one, bro? Dave. Back five oh Dave. This is uh dude. dude. Now we, I really what, taking it back. Well what's interesting is I didn't even realize that this was El Toro. Yeah, why did you skate the other side? The other side. Dude, because there's a potluck going on. Everything is just always got to be fucking crazy. In my <laughs> potluck? <laughs> there's a potluck. It was such a fucking... Dude, I, I this was like the second fo- like time I'd ever like skated with like professional dudes in any way. Like, wow. I think the second photo I'd ever shot. Like, it's my first time coming down to California, like by myself. Psyched. As, just trying to come down and do damn am and I rode flow for like Volcom. So I was staying at the Volcom house and just mentioned that I wanted to go to El Toro and stuff. And then everyone just built like, Oh yeah. Like, and to me, it felt like there's no way out. Like these guys, like fucking big time photographers and dudes are going to come out there with me like i have to do it like there's no way out and it was so nerve-wracking the whole time i'd never even been to the rail i just started doing salads like that trip down it was all like oh shit yeah i mean that that's the first part of it that's just another one of those weird things in my life where i'm just like how how does this stuff like this is one of the good luck things this is one of the bad luck things but on the way down we stopped at this 13 rail in Oregon mm-hmm. and I was trying to decide what tri- really good rail. And I was going through what tricks to try. And I had already like had a bunch of crooked grinds, bunch of feebles, bunch of back fifties, bunch of back lips. And I hadn't really, I never really saladed like any rail really. And I was like, maybe I'll try one of these, like fucking kind of just thought I'd throw it out there and mm. I landed it first try, but the filmer was <laughs> filming Vince Devalle take a piss. Oh. And <laughs> missed it and uh so then i was gonna redo it but then we started getting kicked out so i redid it while we're getting kicked out but the filmer was filming vince dealing with the guy kicking us out oh instead of me doing God. the trick again no way so then i ran up and was like fuck get this one and like went up and did it a third time so it all went three in a row and that's where it all started was that session God. like doing that back salad on that 13 three times in a row was what got me thinking about this whole process. And then at the damn am course, they had a big fucking circle rail that was perfect to like practice on. So then I, yeah, that's when I said to someone that I was thinking about wanting to check it out to back salad and made the plan to do it on the day. I went back after this and skated the contest. Like this is Saturday of damn am like left the contest. Oh, Oh, wow. wow. Check out El Toro and there's a fucking potluck going on. Everyone's just like, okay, like not going to work out. And I'm like, man, I don't want to go deal with this whole content. Like I can't even focus on anything till like this goes down. And I actually 50, 50 date with no cameras. No, <laughs> like just to show people that like I'm doing this. Like wow. <laughs> you won't ever find the clip of me 50, 50 in El Toro. But I certainly didn't start with that. And Damn. Huh. 50 date. And then they're like, okay, he's going to do it. And I don't know why everyone says this side's so bad. Like, to me at the time, especially, like, I don't want to be like some, I'm from Seattle. I fuck grew up skating way tough shit, man. You fuck dudes. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. Um, to me, I was like, man, this thing doesn't even have a crack before the takeoff. Nothing else mattered to me at that time. Like we, and it just, it's rough ground to the last 10 feet. I yeah. believe is what it was. That's what it is. Yeah. And like, that was way better than anything I was used to at the time. Yeah. And so there's nothing. So there's no difference between that set and the other set. There's no, except uh, the ground and everything. Like they're, it's exa- think, it's an exact replica, pretty much. Yeah, I believe so. Pretty much. It's just yeah. The run ups huh. better on the other one. See, I had and, no hmm. idea that that one even existed. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it's no El Toro, El Toro, yeah. whatever. Who? But did, we started getting kicked out like the second it started, and the fence. You see that fence? That was a. Yeah. The security guard pulled it across the rail and figgy like pulled it figgy was there and david loy and figgy pulled the fence back and uh was like telling me to go and i was like yeah okay i'm going and then that dude ran in front of the camera guy yeah (laughs) i saw that yeah i was so upset about that like i thought it was kind of funny or whatever but he was in tears like it was so wait a minute is this still there I don't know. 
I don't know, actually. Because I'm wondering, because they redid the, you know, they put the skate stoppers on there and like bars and whatever. They they messed up the other one, and but is this one still there? They did probably they, did the same thing. Probably. I'm assuming. I didn't even know this one existed. It's yeah. crazy. It's literally like it's exactly the same. Right there to the right of it. If wow. you're looking at the stair, yeah. So basically, you you back five out El Toro. Yeah, I mean you did. Yeah, this is El Toro. That's uh, crazy. I didn't yeah. know that that was a yeah that was there. Yeah. Yeah, and that that started my. I mean. That started everything. How old were me. you right there? Um, 17. 17. Because wait, didn't, did Brian Herman skate that side too? Who? I don't. I've only, I've seen like one other person get footage of it. I've never, uh, I don't. If I, I have, even, I didn't can even. Can even tell the difference. Yeah, they look the same. The yeah. But. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Back five. Back, well. Amazing. And you were getting flowed by Creature at the time or were you on Creature? Yeah, I was, well. Creature had like just started. I had a photo in the article, their very first article, even though I didn't ride for Creature at the time. That's when I just bumped into him at the skate park. Another random ass, what the fuck's going on in my life Crazy. moment. And uh, then I was also flow for Duff's. And like that day or the day before I met Dave Huang, the Duff's team manager. And yeah. like, I mean, he wasn't, a, he was totally friend. Like he was, perfectly nice guy to me but i'm just some flow kid like he didn't have anything like wasn't offering anything to me at the time or whatever and then i came back from this and everyone the word got around that i just like sell el toro oh. and then all of a sudden i had like so many like action from everyone and like Isn't that crazy went straight from like dave wang came up and asked if i wanted to go they were leaving straight from there on a duff's trip and oh shit so that's that when works. i went on my first trip of the company was gotten went with duffs to oklahoma and went to the make wish benefit in austin we would we, we i did that trip two years in a row with them which was so sick how crazy it was really fun it was i mean it was totally i it was really weird for me though as some no name like kid from issaquah washington that had no idea how the skateboard industry worked at all or how anything was going down and i was by far the youngest dude on the trip hmm. only dude who wasn't 21 so i was i was a bit of an outcast i had to get the dave wang and pat rakestraw took me aside in the van and <laughs> talked to me like oh we, we could tell like you're having a bit of a tough time out here like you just gotta like these guys have all been friends for like a really long time and like you can't just like come in and be like part of their crew and stuff like it. Mm. And I've, it's, it's, I've seen this almost go down to so many people, but that takes was me. Time. Like, you know, That's and so yeah. crazy. takes a little time. I didn't. Yeah. I just tried to come in too hot, I guess, and be really good friends with everyone. And they were kind of like, you're just some kid who jumped on El Toro and is trying to like take our job basically. That, and <laughs> That's kind of what it could seem like. Yeah. It's like, slow sure. down little buddy. Slow down. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Crazy, it, was, it was a, it was a wild one. And, but I learned a, oh, I learned a lot. It's so crazy back in the, back then. I mean, even today, it's like one one trick yeah. can put you on the map. It's so crazy. That's crazy. It really is. This is a trick. Yeah, the trick is just staying there once you <laughs> once you get there. <laughs> totally. That's a key right there. Straight yeah, up. like you that could have ruined your whole thing when you got uh, in the trouble with the guys like on the road. Like if you dealt with that differently, you might have not be here right yeah. now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Stuff like that yeah, like, for, goes a long I mean, way. For real, yeah, for real. Definitely. I mean, I honestly don't think I was that bad, but I think it was a bit of a... Well, I think it was the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, I wanted right? to skate way too much, which is... <laughs> Isn't like, that funny? Like jumping out of the van, yeah. first yeah, guy out I remember, there, like, trying to jump on shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember getting shock. told, like, yeah. we went to this really rad rail, and, like, um, Nuge was looking at it, and... uh he had kind of said he was over it. And then I said that I really wanted to grind it. And Rodent was like, I'm not trying to throw anyone. These are just stories. Sure. And I love all these guys. Like, and I understand where everyone's coming from on it, but it's just kind of funny. And it's like, I don't need a, I don't need a photo of you grinding this. I need a photo of Nuge grinding this. Like, Oh wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He I also can't. told me to go sit in the car until we get to a handrail. Once. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was doing too. I was doing too many street grabs. This was also a different time where stuff was hated on way. Like sure, you did body. You did like, 
um i did a lot of stuff that maybe wasn't considered fucking rad at the time right and well it was like, definitely a um yeah what do you like a standard well we did the 50 50 body burial like back then that was like kind of like whoa that's kind of random but right. like gnarly at the same time Fuck yeah you know straight up but now people yeah. are doing it. Yeah, that's pretty right. raw, though. I mean, fuck, yeah. he's just like, you just go sit down in the car. <laughs> 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 just we we need to get news here, you know. Oh wow. my god, bro, that's the realness. Sometimes, you know. Yeah. I mean, sometimes the real goes wrong. Sometimes though, and <laughs> when keeping yeah. it real goes wrong. Yeah, when keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah. All right. Well, let, let's keep going with this because this is uh, what what about this one, Dave? This is uh. This is more hilarious than anything, bro. Is, uh... I don't even. I'm. I'm still speechless. <laughs> How did you find this girl? Wow. What were you doing, pops, in fucking Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> this is King of the Road, and you had to find a lookalike. And yeah. You found this girl that. I mean, it's a spit. It's a spitting image, bro. It really. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That is insane. Who found her? We, it was the very first night at King of the Road. We opened our fucking book at midnight. And then like 10 minutes after we opened the book and we start reading through the challenges, we hear like a fucking swarm of skateboards coming down the street, like 30 plus dudes. <laughs> you look out and yeah, that's this whole flock of them migrating up street and uh we called out like yo like guys like stop like we're on king of the road and like we just opened our book like do you want to help us like maybe you can help us with some challenges and like went down there and like pretty much like showed them the whole book because like we didn't know any like spots or whatever when they saw the challenge of find a a skater or find a girl who looks like a member of the team. They're like, dude, we have we have a friend whose girlfriend looks just like Gravette. We've been telling him for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we made plans to meet up, and um, dude, it sucked because they totaled their car on the way there. Like, oh no, we were at the skate park for like five hours waiting. Um, like, just people were getting bummed. Like, fuck, we're losing all this time just to get one challenge and stuff and we were luckily we were at a skate park so people were trying to work on what they could and well it was worth it man yeah, it was yeah. worth the wait oh, the taxi the dude had totaled his car i felt so bad for the for both of them like it was a shitty fucking situation you totally your car and then show up and everyone just starts freaking out that you look like a fucking <laughs> dude but you just start, like <laughs> She doesn't look like me in like a manly way. Like she's not like no. you could no. use her for being like a dude. Like she's no. obviously a woman. No, no. It's not like that. It's yeah. like we have the same like features. Yeah. But people were being a little over the top. <laughs> like people were literally like screaming, like falling on the floor and everything. It must have been all like I don't know. And we tried to like <laughs> find her like a couple years later for like a thrasher follow up. We did another King of the Road, and Joe was like hammocky was like it'd be cool to do like a where are you now and we try, got a hold of like the fuck you crew that was the big swarm that we mm. met up with shout out to those dudes for helping out and uh um couldn't find her they're like dude she's gone she's gone <laughs> <laughs> she's gone amazing i, I do fall I, I i i found her on the gram it's not like i'm le- like somebody fucking pointed her out the last time like posted something about it and I didn't really want to be like, hey, it's, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. I'd be like, like this fucking it's a weird one again. to approach. Yeah. I, if I was her, I, I might hate me. <laughs> <laughs> for a while there, you could not go, like, anytime I'd try to, like, look for something that I needed, like, see, I'd, like start typing my name and get it. As soon as you hit David G, it would be like, David Griffith look like. Oh, no way. <laughs> Amazing. That's it's so good though. It really it's is. It's so good. LA is a good sport though. You For know, sure. good sport. I love the oh, smile right there, dude. It's perfect. Yeah, Amazing. I mean, we just like she took a bong rip, and I was like <laughs> oh, a joint. So like, <laughs> my type of girl. I love it, man. I love it. What about this yeah. one, Dave? This is come on, bro. What are you doing? Right <laughs> yeah. here, bro? Like what? that is the sketchiest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. That's what happens when that was during my hip popping out process. Oh, okay. Like I would go to spots 
and literally like I skated. So I filmed a lot of tricks when I couldn't bend down and ollie. Like I, there was no way at this point that I could ollie up a two stair. Oh, wow, I could do wow. these. I could get up a curb with these like little half ones. But if I really concentrated that muscle to like spring load, mm-hmm. I was dust. I spring loaded my hip right out of my fucking groin. Damn. And that is just a trick. I've been dropping in like that since fucking 13 or 12 or something. And wow. <laughs> I hadn't done it on anything in a long time. And we were just <laughs> there and I was it's like, fuck, maybe I should do that and do this. And it Dude, was really scary. <laughs> look how sketchy. First of all, you, you have to have both feet on the, on the tail. Then you, you have jump. to not hit your knees on the fucking nose. That's the hardest thing about it. Oh, interesting. Oh. When you yeah, do it on stuff that isn't straight. vertical, like that goes like vert basically gotcha. at the top. So your board sits Whoops. pretty high and like it takes a while to drop. Like I think that's what it is because I know it doesn't it, on mellower stuff. You don't worry about hitting your knees, but on that. Because the boards are like up knees. more than it normally mm-hmm. would be. It's yeah, you, and you have more. to get on it a little quicker too. To get it, or else you'll just God, how sketchy! Yeah. I can't see how big that drop is, but jeez, just the surroundings. Decent. Yeah, is it is the same drop on the other side? Now it's a bowl. It's a bowl on the other side, but it's not at the time. The deck of the bowl is all like not built, so mm. it's it's a bit of a death trap over there too. But it's it's mostly the. The left, my left hand side during it, it's got the, the drop. But Jeez, that looks insane, that, man. Yeah, that looks sketchy, bro. A little bit. Yeah, I mean, that was. I love a little. Hey, you get hurt and you'll start doing different tricks. Just to <laughs> yeah, dude, you, you can see Tony. Tony's in the background at the end. He was like my main. He lived with me for a while. That guy right there. Um, oh, the in the beanie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was. He probably put my hip back in more than anyone else, and Gosh. he was getting pretty over it. He's probably looking like, God damn it, I hope he, like, Here. people were, didn't even want me to come skate a lot of the time. They'd just be like, after my hip had came out like five times, they'd just be like, just fucking stop. Like, why are you doing this? And like, <laughs> we're tired of seeing it. Like, nobody, it wasn't. So why there was hardly any when it came when it was all over and people wanted like the story behind it and I wanted to like have footage of everything I realized that it was pretty hard to even find it happened so many times there should have and there was footage of of it but people like wouldn't save it when it just wasn't even something somebody wanted to film anymore it was right. just like a yeah it happened episode so much. of sadness that like but there, I mean, there was a few, there is clips of it, but not I as I mean, much when your hip pops warm. out, is there, I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can't walk, right? I mean, it's, it's literally like how. Well, some were worse than others. Okay. Like I'd, sometimes I would be like bordering it and I could do hobble, but sometimes it would be so bad. And you literally like any, like you couldn't even move your upper body without like horrible pain. Oh and yeah, I would I would get in some pretty dark places, especially before I realized how to do it myself. And my chick like wasn't strong enough to do it, so there'd be like I went to sleep with my hip out like multiple times because like we just couldn't get it back in, and I just like oh lay my there. God, God, I'd, dude, I'm I'd like wake up bit. with it fucking back in, and oh, oh you just so knock was, it back in and while you're sleeping. I guess just relaxed enough to, I mean, it yeah. got out pretty easy. So it yeah, yeah. gets in pretty easy as well. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even imagine, bro. <laughs> just, <sighs> just going to sleep uncomfortable, like with your hip. Oh, not in place. <laughs> bro. No, thanks. You are a <laughs> champion, bro. What about <laughs> this, man? Look at this. First of all. Oh, this is a random one. Dude. <laughs> dude. Well, because I mean, like just a 50, 50, that thing, but then you nose wheelied out of it. It's, 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 it's insane. <laughs> I mean, it yeah, looks like a fun I mean, 50 50. It's, it's, I remember that being, for some reason, the memory in my head, I was stoked that I draw. I would have never like, cho- that was actually kind of scary to drop in on, but like, and I never would have gone out to even do it, but I just wanted to grind around that thing mm-hmm. in a way that was cool, mm-hmm. so bad. And that was also the first. 540 I did was that so that was a really good session it was the first like just arrived in Spain and the first session was 
I met everyone at this skate park DIY thing and we skated into the night. There was good music playing. Mm. I was You're at that it. age where I was sipping cans and feeling really good and skating <laughs> yeah. all day and <laughs> yeah, good session. I so is that it, oh shit. Is that rail like is that gonna be like a quarter pipe there? Is that was what it was? I yeah, it looked like it was about to be some sort of mm. little taco thing. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Before they see they're gonna in, build yeah. something out, yeah. Mm. Huh. What an interesting spot, man. Dude, that would be like my dream obstacle. It would be like a whole trap, like just a slappy 50-50 that went on. Like maybe that's what that's what I'll build for my DIY. It's just like the most the stupidest crit like slappy 50-50 that I never even get to complete. And just every day I just go like try to get a little further, like try to get past the next fucking obstacle. <laughs> God, yeah, the, actually, that yeah. that drop in looks kind of sketched, bro. Yeah, it's fucking jeez, uh, little... dude. With bad with bad hips, you don't like to do things like that. Right. If you get that throw that throw into the ground, can be pretty and that's devastating. a tight transition too. Definitely yeah, tight transition. dude. Fuck, it's quick. That was cool, man. That was a cool clip. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. And then what were you trying to do right here? A nose grind or something? Or 50 I think minutes. I was just trying to get speed around the corner to hit that fl <laughs> the fly out that is not pictured here, but <laughs> okay. where the camera guy's standing pretty much is where the fucking money fly out was. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's where the the first 540 went down. Oh, oh, what about this one, dude? <laughs> this is insane. Is this? Yeah. What, dude? Is is that just there? Like blocking that, or did you? Yeah, you didn't no, stack. That was just totally there. Like what? Well, why? Why is and that there? Why would they do that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so And it's a BMXer actually recently just sent me a clip of a biker there and asked why, like, has why skateboarders don't do more stuff here, mm. and I don't really know. Well, I mean, it, well, no, it's <laughs> from a, from a biker. Oh well, skate. I mean, why? What is? What could skaters really do there? <laughs> I mean, you did you know it. What I mean? Yeah, it got you did it. Like, like, but they, didn't someone else skate recently too? Or am I tripping? Did they? I, I don't know. I'm thinking. I feel like a, a foot plant over it could work. Like could uh, maybe get a foot off and fucking oh no comply over it or something. But it's just such a. I hear random... it's easier. It's easier to skate out too. I guess it's like <laughs> lower. <laughs> the walls lower. I don't know. Okay. That's what. Somebody's told me, hmm. but it just looks like the weirdest thing. Like why they would stack up those little bricks there yeah. and cement them in, like the, for no good reason. Like what? Yeah, what, why? What's the, change, pur what's the it, purpose it, it of that? It comes to the right, and there's some stairs that go down, right? Yeah, what's to the, the left? Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, there's stairs to the left of it. Yeah, but like, there's oh, stairs. Yeah. But to the right, if you're walking down the right side of the rail, you're just gonna run in. You have to then yeah, you make a sharp left, left <laughs> and then go, like Very why not obscure. just keep going down? Yeah. Yeah, why change the path of the stairs, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like, no, no, we don't want you to walk down. We want you to go left and then go down the stairs. Like, <laughs> Dude, it would be an easy... It kind of blends in with the sidewalk. Some, like, an old person yeah. could trip over that or something. It's that could kind play. of a hazard, yeah. A little bit. Wow. Uh, well, it doesn't really blend in that much. No, but, but it... it, it <laughs> <laughs> but it does, though. I mean... Yeah. I, it looks scary. I don't. I don't know. It looks like I've seen some. Some bikers have done some fucking gnarly shit. Some tire ride. Fucking. I could see that. Bar spins yeah, yeah, out. Sure. I could see stuff. that. But just the fact that when there's something at the bottom like that, there's a lot that can go wrong. You know, yes. and that's just really scary to me. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I got that hurt in that clip with that that one little bit of the legs going over. Like, <laughs> I mean, that can. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i love it man that was uh, uh, another good one good setup for sure god we have so many clips man I, i'm just kind of going days, through yeah i'm just kind of going through them man bank to rail 50 what about the end yeah, was this one this one. Oh, that that's the one where the failed backflip came after the this <laughs> oh in, okay dude that's yeah, it's, dude. That's it's, dude. Gnarly, I, I mean, I really do bro. think that was probably one of the fucking scariest yeah, dude. things I might have ever like 
that rail is really tall from that bank. Like it took every look at the, dude, the fucking whole air ass to travel to get enough. Like the rail was set back so far, but and it was tall enough. That's sketchy. And you needed the momentum to carry. Like I can't believe I didn't take any real bad like flip overs. Hmm. But dude. God, and you were you were scary you were literally sure. standing up on that thing. I mean, you, you had to, that. but still, it's like wow. Yeah, towards the end there. Towards the end, yeah. People skate that one bank you wrote down, right? Like, um, they, they do, like, flip tr tricks from that bank. To oh, the, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. To the drop. To man. The, yeah, that was gnarly, man. That was psycho. Whoo. Yeah. Take a lot of tries, though? Um, A good amount. Not like it didn't turn into one of the all-day fucking endeavors but i did have one where i made it to the end and came to the bank and i fell on the bank and that was like really heartbreaking because <laughs> it was like a like really really scary every every go in at it so well i mean look how high up yeah. you are compared to that bank i mean you you, you bail from yeah. there i mean i wish there was like a a vertical shot of just uh i mean it, it looks good from there or whatever but just to show oh, see what you're going into the, the height no just the height of that yeah. rail from where the bank is from where you take off yeah right psycho i like mean, it's God, scary to man. get you have to get yeah. into it so squatted yeah, you, like, yeah. into it, you were Look saying that. earlier that like you you're surprised you didn't have any like the roll off or like you didn't like, like shoot you didn't, like it, it literally looked like it wanted to let Go heel side out. Yes. Catch mm. the back of your legs and mm. like mm. flip off that onto your back. And exactly. Even if you didn't go off the tall side, even the low side was like Jeez. tall. That's, that's like your worst nightmare shit right there. Yeah. yeah. Like you would go boom, slip worst, right out. Yeah, worst like fucking your head backwards yeah. into that bank. Like get the Dude. fuck out of here, bro. God, that's insane. Whew, good I day. bet that felt good though. Hell oh yeah. man, no, I was that was one of <laughs> the best relief feelings. after that but, one, huh? You're like I don't have to do that shit again. Yeah, I was so stoked. Fuck and yeah. then I went and tried to backflip at the demo and landed on my head. <laughs> 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 trying just trying to ride that wave, man. Yeah. Like, hey, this has been a good day. Hell yeah. Damn. It was still a good. I mean, it, I didn't get that hurt on that. I just, I learned that lesson though to not try them. Fucking out of control. <laughs> God, I I trip out on stuff like that, man. Cause look at that, dude. That's mm -mm. I couldn't even imagine just being up there and like, oh god, I gotta. Uh, the the rail goes this way. Now I gotta kind of get off into the bed. Mm -mm. Trust me, I'm like, whew. Now, after that, it would have been a cel celebratory day. Yeah, I tell you that. Super it, sick. it was for sure. Just Did someone cool. bring you to that spot? Like someone was like, "Yo, I got this rail for you." Oh man, I can't remember exact. Like that is a skate spot. Like I can't remember if we went there because somebody. I hope I'm not like somebody out there is like, dude, I'm the fucking one who told you to fucking <laughs> probably there. Like, I just, <laughs> <I'm never tell. laughs> yeah, maybe it was your lookalike that brought you there. <laughs> I can say I don't think it was that. Okay, okay. It was, it was never in know. El Paso. It might have been an El Paso homie. Okay. Probably someone at the Crook Skate Shop. Um, there you go. But yeah, we went there and I s saw that. And so sick. Fucking so stoked that it worked Fuck out. Fuck yeah, yeah, man. Scratched that Thrasher cover itch that had, was a pretty tough one to get to. What about this one, man? This is... Uh... Oh, this is a good one, man. The dub, uh, Smith grind. Smith grind here. Ooh. Oh! Yeah. These are the such random clips. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do, Same. baby. That's what we do. Dude, that was not a good day because my <laughs> fucking, right after I did this, my really good friend dislocated his elbow trying to crooked grind that. Oh. Damn, dude. And it was, uh, yeah, it was not good. I don't like to see fucking people get hurt. He tried to no. crook. He tried to crook that dude, and he was doing it so good, but he was going. He was creeping and just like sitting on it and 
trying to pop um, out. He just didn't get into it on one of them and just Cuts kind of himself. Well, the, well, it looks like the Superman, angle of it's super hard for would, for regular footed, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You got to curb backside into it, like yeah, it was bad, and that elbow really turned into a fucking nightmare for him. I, he dislocated it again another time when I was standing right there. Oh God, <laughs> the only man. two times it's happened has been when I've <laughs> been right there. It was kind of funny because <laughs> right after he he got he was he was my roommate at the time, and he didn't have health insurance when he did that. Oh man. And he ended up having to like um get an ambulance ride, like an overnight oh, in the hospital, like God, surgery, all this oh, stuff. Man. But he got out of it all for like under three grand or something. And Amazing. then like a week later I ended up that's when I first dislocated my shoulder and like I had to get surgery and all this stuff and I had health insurance. But I ended up getting dropped by my health insurance three months after my surgery and stuck with thousands and thousands and thousands oh and thousands of dollars of fucking <laughs> debt. And wow. I couldn't even go to like my fucking um, I had to sue my insurance company three times to get out of that one. Wow, I was fucking man. three dust. times. Man, fuck health yeah. insurance based on that shit, bro. You're like paying insurance. I have, dude, like, I have a fuck, ball and man. chain tattooed on my leg where the ball says insurance dot incorporated. Oh <laughs> my god! Literally fucked that's me so, so many lame. times. God, that's and the homie cool. got out of it three thousand dollars. You're like, what the fuck happened? What's the difference? Yeah, where and he didn't have yeah. insurance. Wow. Dude, and we both got lifelong fucking our lives both i mean his elbow ain't right my shoulder ain't right damn so that wasn't the happiest session and yeah i can see why yeah but i I could see that that's an interesting spot to skate because you have to go fast you're not really alling that high you know it's kind of just this quick kind of off on and the thing that's also weird about that plastic thing is it's slanted the other way like, on the, it's the, like a trash, it, like a mailbox type oh, thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It goes down. It's like tilted. Yeah. So it makes kind, it a good smith. Yeah. So it's kind of like a rail almost. Yeah. The way that it's like angled on the backside. Huh. But it is, if you go heel side, it will flip you real good. Gotcha. If you don't lock your truck in. And I guess another thing to talk about here is how many clips that I've kind of ruined for myself with my boxers hanging out <laughs> the back of my fucking dude it's such a my something about my body shape my pants go down and my boxers go up <laughs> <laughs> i blame it on fucking no ass but no ass i don't know Listen, nothing's I, holding them i i have that problem too man i don't have an Sucks. ass yeah yeah finding good on yeah finding well, maybe just not red oh. maybe just black I know. You have red underwear, huh? That's and red <laughs> shoes. And, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Boxers tend to do a, that, though. You they guys rise. picked a winner. I looked stupid, and it was a terrible day. You guys <laughs> are jerks. Sorry about that. We thought it was a sick. We thought it was a sick ass clip. <laughs> it's all good. They can't all be winners. Yeah. Well, listen, but, man. Listen, this is not a winner either, but it's fucking gnarly. Um, the the warehouse oh, yeah. at uh, oh, yeah, NHS. NHS heartbreaker. So, this a is a lot of work went in for one try. <laughs> what What do you mean a lot of work? Like, you know, I mean, that's in the warehouse of Creature, right. and we had to move. Like, see where those uh, cardboard boxes are taped over. Yep. That's uh found like platforms for these fucking gotcha um, like the pallet like the pallet the stands pallets. yeah huh scaffoldings wait and, so uh, what happened like you, you get did you get fucked up right there yeah i somehow dislocated my apparently my good shoulder i'd never had problems with my left shoulder before still to this day i don't know what happened i've watched this footage in slow-mo like Part of me almost thinks it dislocates while I'm fucking on the rail, while which it's my left sh- while it gets behind me there, mm. and maybe the or maybe the I don't know, like dude, yeah. I, what the hell? Because the the when you slam, it doesn't it looks bad, but it doesn't look bad enough to dislocate. Like you didn't like land on the side of your no. of your 
you know, to dislocate it, but maybe right there with the, the velocity. Yeah, it's very strange. Huh? It down. Cause it did slip. I, I waxed, it was too slippery. I was slipping out. And you I see it like whip back right there. Yeah, it does whip back. Mm-hmm. Huh. You do have kind of a, the Heath Kirchard arm right there. Oh yeah. Dude, that. that might be it. Mm-hmm. It whipped back right there, dude. Yeah. And that the wax that I'm like the wax on the rail, like you wax the rail. But it's your left one, right? So yeah, it does. Yeah, it, that was the left one. It does kind of like right. Wait, so that was the only a weird too. one. Mm-hmm. That was the only try right there. Yeah, the only and it was. I had a week there. I was staying in fucking Santa Cruz for a week, and I decided like we decided I was gonna do it at like the Friday after like everyone was done working, and. I just had to sit on it for all that time. And I was like at NHS almost every day, like looking at it. And um, then we went to work at the beginning of that day, moving everything. We had the whole top of the runway was filled with boxes. We had to move like all this product that might've been why my shoulder fucking popped out easy because I spent that whole day lifting heavy shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow. Then <laughs> um Dan Z shot the photo and we had to wait like an extra like two or three hours for him because there was a bank robbery in San Francisco and the guy fucking fled down the same highway to Santa Cruz and like caused the whole like police like Dan was stuck on the fucking road for hours Whoa. so I was just sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting and but I was so I was confident Mm -hmm. this was supposed to be my like I didn't really have an ender for that creature video at the time and like we were just gonna kind of do this because it was in creature and Lee Sharon is fucking and it was I mean it's a big yeah. it's a big rail too yeah. and, but Lee Sharon is at the top of that ladder with a whole pile of airplane mini bottles that he was gonna like <sighs> I was supposed to fucking land and like come over there and he was gonna like shower me with fucking <laughs> liquor bottles oh my <laughs> God. I, we were gonna have i hadn't like i mean i i literally don't drink very much and i save it for like these celebration right. like i hadn't drank in a while at this point and oh, man. just trying to be in condition i was so ready to have the best like i was we were gonna have like a really good night after this and <laughs> And I'd made jokes about like, cause all the work people went into doing this. I was like, what if I just try it? No, I think I was on the optimum. I was like, what if I just make it like first try? It'll almost be like too much work for that. Or but I did yeah. really get one try and it was a nightmare day. I couldn't get, I tried really hard to get my shoulder back in at the warehouse. Cause I'd experienced with my right shoulder. I kind of knew what to do, but it wouldn't go back in. So I just said, just take me to the fucking hospital. And Damn. Santa Cruz ER got to be the worst ER I've ever fucking been into. Just fuck those guys, man. They were awful to me. I, the first thing I did was walk because I experienced, I knew exactly what was going on and it's so painful for me. I don't, I know I've seen other people dislocate their shoulders and not be in that much pain, mm -hmm. but like, and I'm not in pain for the first 10 minutes, but then it just, I'm in more pain than I've ever been in my fucking life. Like, and I didn't want, and I knew it was so bad when I did my right shoulder, like surgeons were like, we've never seen anyone tear this much of their fucking labrum Jeez. plus all of your rotator cuff plus your labrum. And some of that had been contributed to how long my shoulder was out. Cause the first time I, my shoulder was out for like an hour. Mm. So this time I was determined to get it back in as quick as possible. So when we got to the ER, I went straight back in. I didn't fucking stop at the counter. <laughs> I went straight back in to find a doctor and uh, I found someone like walking. I was like, my shoulder's out. Like, I know exactly what's going on. Like, I'm a professional skateboarder. My body is like everything to me. And like, this happened with my right shoulder. And I just tried to give her like the rundown, like as quick as I or as, That one was a dude, actually, but it doesn't matter. But, <laughs> and uh, I, they were actually cool at first they were like, okay, just stay here for a second. And then someone else like saw me and was like, what are you doing back here? And 
I told them what was up and they're like, this isn't how the ER works. Like you have to go wait and like, you have, you can't just come back here. And I knew that. And I'd like, but I knew what was, I just needed someone to put my shoulder in and it was starting to hurt really bad. And then I went back to the ER and maybe they were just going to punish me from that point on. And they put me in a room for hours, hours without seeing somebody. And I was, I kept sneaking out and trying to find some, I was in so much fucking pain. It was literally <laughs> the worst. I've been hung out with my testicle out of my fucking body. I've broken fucking everything. I've God experienced damn. it all. And this is like <laughs> the worst pain. And I'm, tr- I'm in this room trying everything I can to get my shoulder and I'm picking up fucking random bits of equipment, trying to get weight on my arm, trying to fucking sw- just do everything. And they won't fucking help me. They're always super rude whenever I just try to beg them for some help because I'm literally like, I'm, I can't believe I wasn't blacking out. Like I was like, how much pain do I have to be in to black out? <laughs> wow. And when they finally fucking showed me a doctor, he couldn't get my fucking arm back in. So then they're like, we're going to have to put you under to get your arm back in. And then they started putting me under and I have a, <laughs> I've woken up during, I have a pretty high tolerance with the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> shit i guess like i woke up from an ankle surgery as well oh my god dude they wow. trying to put me down and i'm not going to sleep yet and they're like just telling me to like breathe on this mask and the late the nurses are being so rude like they don't think that i can remember or hear them and they're just like i hate this guy he's so fucking annoying like <laughs> just go to, and i'm like you guys are awful like this is the worst <laughs> day of my life and you've been so horrible to me, like this is so horrible. And they're just like, go to sleep. Like they kept telling oh me to go to sleep. God. And then I, the doctor just started messing with my arm and stuff. And I was kind of like, I was pretty, I was pretty fucked up, that's for sure. But I wasn't out. And um, they, he was fucking with it. And I was like, ah. And then he went away and I started getting more coherent and I was like, you guys, like you better get the doctor in here. Cause I'm starting to get more less, coming back fucked up. and like your shoulders back in. And I'm like, Oh, Oh, thank God. Like <laughs> Jesus, it was just such a nightmare. And then they sent me a huge fucking bill. I'm sure. And I tried to, I wrote them a letter and pleaded my case about like, how horribly I was treated and like, I didn't want to pay for being put, I didn't want to pay for the anesthesiologist mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Cause I felt like if they would have seen me in a reasonable manner and put my shoulder in, then I wouldn't have had to get put down and all right. this stuff. Right. And they did nothing for me. And that's the thing with these emergency rooms. It's like you pay for the emergency room, then you pay for the doctor, then you pay for the anesthesiologist, then you pay for the nurse. And yeah, you, so it's much. like you get eight bills. It's crazy, right? It, yeah. It's it comes ins- from all different yeah. places. No, it's insane. Yeah. Like our medical system is fucked. It really is. There's got to be a point where you have to help somebody when they're like in pain. That like I no one else in the fucking ER was in as much pain and had such a simple thing to be fixed. That's the thing. Like it takes it takes so little effort. Like when I first dealt with my right one, I was sat out of the ER for like 45 minutes, and I was in so much pain and my roommate the same dude who dislocated his elbow was there and he was um talk like telling him like yo like my friend is like dying over there like you need to help him and stuff and they're just like we'll see him when we see him and i actually went to the counter and told the lady i was gonna break every finger on my hand if i didn't see a doctor and i started bending (laughs) my fingers back and she was like, okay, okay, like, like, come with me. And I literally, within five minutes of that, I had my shoulder back in. Jeez. So that's why when I went to the ER, I thought I could just feel like I just, like, need to, like, that's how bad it hurts, though, is that you I'm just need to, to break, room. like, you like start bending your fingers back again. Done. I know, that's a good technique. It's going to throw craze. Yeah, yeah it's throw craze. Dude, I mean. Whatever it takes. Like I said, it's just a pain I haven't experienced. Fuck. It's like you're. I mean, I can't even describe it. And I felt like I've had kidney stone. I've fucking done a lot of the things that take a lot of pain. Yeah, her kidney stones are fucking next level. Yeah, Mm. that's right here too, bro. So all of that from this lip slide. Yeah. Fuck. (laughs) Wow. 
Well, what was the though. what were you shooting it for though that was the creature the one that the, just called the creature video i think oh okay <laughs> got lazy with the name there <laughs> it's a creature video it's a creature video man and then the, the tour that we did was just the creature tour <laughs> creature tour <laughs> marketing geniuses i love it bro okay. was lee it. running it back then direct yeah he's amazing dude isn't he yeah he's he's a, he's a great guy well, Dave, man, let me tell you something, bro. I love hanging out and chatting with you, dude. Straight it's never, back. it's never a dull moment. I've mm-hmm. seen it's I, never the dude, way I, I see it. Chris yeah. talking with Dave is like a different. It's different. I don't know. I can see Chris is like. He, oh, I enjoy it. Yeah, Chris has a good time. Oh, I enjoy <laughs> it. I enjoy it, man. It's I enjoy dude, it. I enjoy having an audience for. It makes me relive all these crazy stories, like. Man, it's it's wild. Well, I hope we didn't bring up too many bad memories, bro. No, there, I think there's. I hopefully there's a good mix of. I mean, the bad memories are entertaining, though. I mean, what's they, the point yeah. of experiencing them if are. you can't? I feel like there's go these, back and these things that happen to you that like that would only happen to you. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like all this weird shit. Like how the I couldn't even make it up. Yeah, uh-uh. exactly. God, uh-uh. one. So man, everything goes into something with you. But the day I hit the rock at Double Rock and hurt my shoulder, that was on the creature trip. And I walked into a pole that morning and because uh, we were walking through a skate spot and I was looking at fucking skate spots too much. And I walked into a pole so hard that it, there was a sign on that embedded, like hit me in the sternum and it cut me pretty good. And I also kicked it with my hurt toe. <laughs> And that fucked me up, and I was kind of upset about that. And Lefty, Lefty in the van ride to Double Rock was like, David, you know, like, it's because, like, you're just too, you gravitate, you're too negative. I mean, I don't think that was. Was it accident prone? I don't want to say that. Because I don't want to make my, well, now I'm just making myself look bad by saying that I'm too negative. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you envision these things, it's going to happen to you or whatever. And I'm Laws like, of that's, attraction. That's real or shit, whatever. though. Real talk, though, David. It is, but I don't, and I try to avoid it, though. And I'm not the kind of person <laughs> that can't appreciate when things are good. And I, I don't look back when I'm telling these stories. I'm not trying to be, like, super bitter about them or whatever. It's just, they're entertaining. You can't. They really are. Dave. Yeah. Dave. <laughs> that was a weird... I don't know where I went with that one. I kind of just got like yeah. stage fright of wanting to tell that story. I was like, wait, do I even want to say uh, that? There's a, it's amazing that you're having all these horrible <laughs> stories that would happen to you. We're laughing at them in a weird way. Like you've turned it around into a good thing. So It's a delivery, bro. Yeah, it's you know. a delivery. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I walked into a sign and it embedded into my <laughs> sternum. <laughs> Dude, what was the sign like? No parking or something oh like that. God. No, it was a light, it was like a light pole that just had one of those. Uh, oh, same damn yeah. sign. I ran into my dirt bike not that long ago. Too. <laughs> same kind of sign. Wow, man. Well, let's end this off on a the good bad. note. Let's yeah. end this off on a good yeah. note. Let's let's we bring back this clip else. one yeah. more time. Like one that. more time. Yeah. Woo. Take me back. I I'm gonna go. That. I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow as a reward for Dang. doing this stressful ass interview. I hope, <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you catch a winner, man. Straight up, dude. Look at biggest this. Yeah. This was amazing, bro. I, I'm gonna have this on loop next episode. Oh, it's maybe the experience or something it, like that. I love yeah. it, so bro. Good. Really is. I just love how squirrely you start off. Just <laughs> oh, 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 and then you straighten out, and then you hit the water, and you're like, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we're off. <laughs> yeah, you we're really we're off. You really figured that one out, huh? Like you really like halfway down. You Once, like I, I, that was like grinding a rail. There was a time there where I realized that I was gonna make it to the water, and I <laughs> probably <laughs> <laughs> there was a little sense of <laughs> gonna get there. The fact <laughs> that you had this like fishing pole coming out of the like, everything about this, <laughs> everything about it, dude. Amazing. The pole it's rolls. It's, it's amazing, great. bro. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, David Gervais, bro. Listen, I, uh, as Kelly said, I, I thoroughly enjoy talking to you, man. I love all your stories. I just, I, I really have a great time. The best. I do. Me too. And I, thank you so much for saying that. Because a lot of people are annoyed by my. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> kidding me? My, <laughs> They're fucking amazing. My wife will tell me to stop, stop telling stories. Stop telling stories. <laughs> like, All right, Dave. Please don't stop. It's incredible, uh, it's bro. So because good. I feel like you have 
more stories than people have in their lifetime. You know what I mean? Like you, everything you Dude, do. I live life fast. I need a hip replacement at 30. Uh, I needed one at 26. And now I'm getting colonoscopies at 33. There you like, go. Just... There you go. We didn't get into the colonoscopy, but we'll dive deep into that next time, man. <laughs> mm, it's all good. Know. Like okay. You got a good colon. Yeah, good. pretty much. I just had to s- s- solve a couple things <laughs> it's not that bad if anyone if i can help anyone out there that maybe is dealing with issues and afraid to go through it like you know it's i'm about to i'm like fucking on the verge i'm like that age where i need to go so i'm gonna go it's one of those mandatory things when you get older right yeah. you gotta do a little yeah. colonoscopy yeah. like 40 yeah. or something right yeah. but don't they put you out for that yeah I, I got put out for yeah. sure it's not bad at all you there's the prep you have to the day before you drink this like the liquid and... flavored syrup mm-hmm. and you can't dilute it that much or else it like takes away its shit and like right. Ugh. Wow. Yeah, oh, it's a uh, pro- prostate you're thinking of too. The prostate that they too. gotta check your prostate. Yeah, yeah. That too. Mm, yeah. Haven't got. I'll get. I'll probably get there earlier than most. Well, <laughs> listen, we will talk about it next time on the mm. show. <laughs> we will. Mm. I'm sure you'll have a story about that too. Like he used his thumb instead of his in there something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of his <laughs> Fuck. I hope not, dude. Wow. I'll be like, dude, no. You gotta try something else. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I love you, bro. And come back anytime. We want to just stop and chat with you again and again and again, dude. And hopefully when all this stuff, all the madness clears up and you come back into town down here, like we'd love to have you back in the studio too and and catch up. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Go fucking, or if you guys ever come up here, I'd love to take you fishing. I'm yeah, so down. Hey, Chris, you're going you, up that way. We can do it. Are I'm going, yeah, I have to walk up to Portland to <laughs> yeah. talk to uh, oh, Nike. Once Fiends and Streams is on, we'll have, I'll have you guys up to my set. Perfect. And that would be dope. That would be yeah. really dope. Fiends Let's go. and Streams. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it, bro. That's a little trip. We'll flick ashes right. everywhere, bro. Yeah. Dude. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, but seriously, like Ash. congratulations, bro! Let us keep us posted on the on the on the on the on the plantation that you have up there. The one uh, percent of mm-hmm. the plantation, one two five. Yeah, one two five. Once yeah. again, forget the, that two five is important. Mm-hmm. It really is. The, pa- <laughs> the, pa- the parachute, uh, parachute papers. Fuck yeah, dude! Love the name, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. a good name, right? Great. Because if you get high, you need a parachute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's dude. It's it's gonna. I think it's gonna work. Hopefully. Well, listen, I you've mean, done your R and D, bro. So the quality is there. You've lived your whole life doing R and D. So <laughs> yeah. research and development, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah dude. Listen, For David sure. Grubat, dude. Thank you so much. Stop and chat, dude. bro. We have, dude. Uh, much success to you, bro. Hopefully, you get out there. Another video part. Love to see it, man. I mean, we have. I have some stuff going, and creature video is coming. There's another one coming. So oh, we'll, tight. Fuck. We'll yeah. be back there. Yes. For sure, so, dude. Yes. Thank you guys so much, dude. Dude. Love all of you. Dude, it's love. always a pleasure. Hey, love you too, bro. Love you man. too, man. Hell yeah. David Gravette, everybody. Oh, huh? man.